Here we are. We're live. Okay, cool. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. Uh, you, so look so, you look different this week. I look a little different. I'm a little bit tanner. Um, I'm seeing a delay, and then I'm seeing... That's the, that's what other people are seeing. That's what we're seeing. That's us right here. Yeah. I'm good, man. Uh, I'm stoked to do this, finally. Um, shout out to High Noon for sponsoring this event. Yeah. High Noon. Um, Blackberry Mango. It's a really good. Uh, if you know Dave Portnoy is, uh, he swears by them. It's uh, They're great. Is this his company? I don't think so. I think he just like um, gets paid a fuck ton of money to just drink them. Isn't he already like a billionaire or something? Uh, a millionaire, but soon to be billionaire with uh, the Sun Sips. Um, they're good though. I highly recommend them. You can get them at, like at Twin Liquors and some other places. What are Sun Sips? Uh, sun Sips are like kisses from the sun or... <laughs> Oh, uh, these are sunsets. They're called sunsets. <laughs> I thought they were called high noons. Uh, they're high noon, but at high noon, the sun sips. Hence, that's why they're called sunsets. Oh, um, man. So, bummer about, uh, if you notice, we're shorthanded today. Uh, yeah. I think Carlos got bit by a werewolf. Yeah. Carlos got bit by a werewolf, and so <laughs> he's got that. diarrhea or something. <laughs> Werewolf diarrhea. Werewolf diarrhea. That's, it happens. I think that's his human blood. It's, it's, it's oh, a thing. We didn't even look. So, trying to go in this was super flustered. I didn't yeah, know. it almost didn't happen. Technical difficulties. Um, Jamie's not here, who runs all of our production. Carlos got bit by a werewolf. Uh -huh. uh, it's a full I moon sobriety. tonight. I broke some sobriety today. Yeah, we got like so much alcohol, and then no one's no, here. No, and uh, Jamie's not here. It's just me and you, and a bunch of alcohol and uh, dog soldiers. And dog soldiers. Talk about. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah, so we. I didn't even fix the. This thing says tra Texas trash talk. That was like our last stream. So this stream's going to be called that too. Okay. But it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be called Dog Soldiers. Is this like the uh, director's cut, though? Yeah, sure. All right. I'll go with that. We, right. were, uh, we were supposed to see if if Jamie would have been here, she would have fixed this so it said, like, Dog Soldiers. And then, like, I'm going to try to do this. See this marquee? It would have said Dog the Soldiers, too. No, see that one popping up? Oh, Hellbanger? Yeah, that's what we talked about last time. But if she was here, that would say... Woof. That would say werewolves, 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 With a Z or an S, werewolves, werewolves. Yeah. So I don't even know what the first movie we're going to talk about. Oh, but well, I guess we're going to talk about Doc. We're just going to in depth but, break down. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, so right off the bat, horror genres. I mean, as a let's kid, just, let's just open up that Deep Eddie's. Open so up. as a kid, we're also sponsored by Deep Eddie um, lime flavored vodka. Austin's um, favorite flavor. It's really good. Um, for the longest time, I was a grapefruit guy, like probably like eight years ago, which was, oh, dude, it was so gross. <laughs> and then uh, lemon, which I still love, but this lime is legit. Is this so. just like pure vodka yeah. with some flavoring? Yeah. It's with the limestone from the, the Deep Eddy. That's cool. Um, yeah, it's good. Anyway, um, so going back to the, oh, I'll start with, or can you even say that anymore? Oh, it's Russian. Oh, no. Were, no. Okay. Uh. Salute. Salute. Yeah, yeah salute. salute. Um, so, horror movies, as a kid, I had a cousin who loved fucking horror movies, and I was always scared because I was, you know, I was a bitch. But I remember as a kid, we saw this crazy horror movie, and he lived in the valley, so they would get weird, like, straight to, not straight to home video, but they would get select theaters, and there was this crazy werewolf movie. And I can't remember what it was for the life of me. It was like some random, it was in the theaters or the theater, but it was, uh, it was scary. But hence the whole point of this was that's what got me interested in werewolves because werewolves to me were like, kind of like a boring character. It's a dude who gets, normally the th formula is what? They get bit, full moon, you get bit, you fucking turn into a werewolf, you fall in love. Start having diarrhea. <laughs> You start having werewolf Get your friends. Out. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but then you get sponsored by a fuck ton of booze. Um, but anyway, so leading up to, I used to be like a real, like, like guy. I was into movies. And I always liked really shitty, done, cool movies, which like, you know, like Sam Raimi shit, like Evil Dead. Yeah. Um, you know, Weird Cuts, 
gore, over the top, just, just craziness, right? So later in my life, I'm like, okay, I like low budget stuff. I mean, cause like werewolf movies, that one with Jack Nicholson, what was it called? Wolf. Wolf. With, uh, where he's Michelle Pfeiffer and Michelle Pfeiffer in a barn. I don't know. That's, that's all it? I remember. I saw that at the theater. I saw that, uh, there's like nudity in it, right? Yeah. I think I saw it on Skinamax and then like the tit scene and that was it. But, um, it was boring. Um, but other than that, wolf movies, I couldn't really think of anything cool. So what I would do is like Best Buy would have like their bargain bin. And I came across this. I've, I've actually had this movie for a long fucking time. I think I haven't bought a DVD in God like 18 years. Is that years. yours? Did you bring it's it? actually mine. Oh, okay. actually, I, I didn't. Oh, that's uh, what, well, that's that's what my some. copy looks like too. So yeah, yeah. So this is, <clears throat> if you're like a into it. So this cover, what we've been advertising and what they show is completely different. And like what's cool about this movie, it's came out in 2001. So that's like, if I do my math right, that's what, 21 years ago? Yeah. Which is insane. Actually, I graduated high school in 2001. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, yeah. I'm about to be 40 this year. Um, anywho, so this movie has like a bunch of famous people. So one of my favorite horror movies, I guess you could call it a horror movie, Event Horizon. Yeah. If you out there like, you know, horror, space horror, space horror uh that's a big debate by the way like movies are is this sci-fi or is it horror like, that movie is fucking sci-fi or horror as fuck but like, see like some people think aliens is sci-fi but then why isn't predator sci-fi? which okay but see when we're talking aliens like alien 2 is an action film alien 3 is a boring <laughs> fucking and i love david fincher and that was his first film you know, fucking, he goes on to do Seven, Fight Club, every fucking sick fucking movie. Surviving the Game. No, that was, that's a, that was a, I hate Carlos. Jamie Black. just said I can turn on Marquee One, which means she's doing work from her dorm room. Who's Jamie? Look, that says, no, that's not right. Jamie's our producer that's normally here. Oh, okay. Look, dark, Dog Soldiers. Where? See? Oh, She sick. made it, so it worked. Huh. Anyway, so... The whole point is, so this movie is directed by this guy who later goes on does The Descent. He does Hell, right? Hellboy. And Descent 2, right? Or I never Descent. saw any of the Descents. I think he did I just both looked those, Wikipedia it up, and it was like, beep, beep, beep. But he did the new Hell Hellboy, which, if you are familiar with the, I mean, like the originals with Ron Perlman, sick. This is the dude who did the one with the guy from Stranger Things, which... I felt was fucking boring. Why is Rasta? <laughs> why is That's Rasta you. Rob Zombie there? Where is Carlos? So this Car is actually Rob Zombie's little brother. Yeah, I'm Spider from a uh, Power Man 5000. Uh, Carlos got bit by a werewolf, and he has got a uh, uh, diarrhea. Werewolf diarrhea. <laughs> so he's squirting blood. Yeah. So if you see <laughs> it, the first movie we were going to talk about was uh, Howl. There's a scene in the train where the guy. This is guy. We're going to just speed it up. I'm gonna just dive right into it. He has <laughs> diarrhea, and they like like the werewolves in there, and people are getting bit, and people are freaking out on this train, and he's like just like hiding. He's, Flash forward, he gets killed in the restroom yeah. by a werewolf. He gets killed in the bathroom while he has diarrhea. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. And yeah, how old? Why they and they gave the fat guy diarrhea. It's like very. Oh. It was 2001, so they weren't didn't have to be. No, that's PC. Dark Soldiers. Oh, how right. was 2015? Yeah. Oh, you're right. This is my bid, by the way. I keep on leaking everywhere. But 2015, that was like, it was about 2016 when the real uh, PC-ness kicked in. You couldn't talk about fat people having diarrhea. I mean, it happens. 2015, it was still funny. Kind of like, um, I can't even think. When was, you know, I used to, like I said, I used to be really into movies. And I just stopped watching movies like forever. Ugh. But, like crazy silly movies like this, going back to Dog Soldiers, because fuck Howl. This movie, <laughs> um... It was cool because it was super cheesy. It was like a... This you know, was your pick. This was my pick. So they like, describe like it. Carlos picked Howl and he's not here, so uh, fuck Howl. I'm going to talk about like Ginger Snaps or... You know what was really good? One of the best... He, and Carlos wouldn't disagree with me, but like on Angel Season 5, Episode 3... What there is was Angel? A, Angel, the Buffy spinoff? You know what? Okay, so going to your whole Buffy thing. I loved the <laughs> Buffy fucking... Um, the movie... The movie was fucking cool. Was Donald Sutherland the fucking guy? Donald Sutherland was in that. 
Yeah, in the movie. And his son, Kiefer, was in fucking Lost Boys. Yeah. Hence, we're going to vampires, but we're talking more about werewolves. But there's a correlation. Because apparently, werewolves are a bastard child from a vampire and a human, right? Well, that's what the uh, that's what the whole um, that series was. Oh, with the chick? The hot chick? Serendipity chick. Yeah, the hot chick. So... <laughs> I the, can't even remember her name right the, now. The main protagonist in this movie was actually a doctor in Grey's Anatomy. I don't know his name, but he's in it. But going back to Event Horizon, so he's, a, he's in this movie. The, if you, dude, I'm terrible with names. I don't even know real people's names. Yeah, and you're, I, you're you Derek, know, right? Yeah. I know him as Hot Dog. But so the main protagonist's person is in this movie... And he's also in Event Horizon. He's the guy who finds the bomb in the the suit yeah. and blows up. Well, he's in this movie. Very small part in this movie. No, he was like a main guy in this movie. You're 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 confusing this. No, movie no, no. Howell. Sorry, sorry. Howell, yes. he's a conductor, and he gets yeah. eighty six. Why, like why am I thinking this? Why do I keep? I'm I'm getting all fucked Cause, up because because Carlos, Carlos didn't hear. Carlos got bit by a fucking werewolf, and it's fucking you up. That's. I know. You know what you are? Your motorcycle. He's he's like the sidecar motorcycle, and I like the sidecar comes off, but then I don't know. How and to I'm balance. like a Kawasaki that's just yeah. obnoxious, and it's just like rice rocket. And yeah, you know I'm sorry. Mean? Yeah, that's you what go. I meant to say. And how he's only in it for a little bit. But yeah, so it. he's in it for like a second. And he gets killed. He's a conductor in this movie. He's like basically, if you've never seen this movie, Dog Soldiers, they describe it as Jaws. Aliens and Predator with a werewolf twist. It's Which is nothing like that. Yeah. It's absolutely <laughs> nothing like that. The, the descriptions of this movie by the critics at the time are terrible. Well, like I said, I got this in a, in a bin. You know, like the five ninety nine bin? Yeah. But it was like 20 years ago, so it was like nine ninety nine. Well, with inflation, that's like... That's like at least fourteen seventy nine. Yeah. So this movie, though... Hold on, I haven't read these comics. Uh, dang, it's a full moon right now. I might be able to hang on. Doug, you can turn on Marquee one. Oh, I'm already... Uh, Doug's eyes have dark circles. Heroin yeah. is bad. Yeah, that's because I wake up at six in the morning every day, and then yeah. I try to like provide this comedy relief to Shut people's by lives. The way, Doug Sarge, he's bad doctor. In the yes, yes, Jamie. Yes, yes. V. Uh, Sarge, yeah, he's he's the doctor in Event Horizon. He exactly is, and then he dies because the bombs that the yeah. guy from if you're an older cat and you remember when MTV was still cool, they used to have this show called Dead at Twenty One. And he was... Gre- See, to me, because I'm, I'm 10 years older than you, Okay, MTV was already bad at that point to me. Well, it was, when, it was during Liquid Television. Like, so, oh, yeah, Liquid Television. Was well, and that's what it was. Sir. Okay. It was uh, Dead at 21 was a show with that cat, the guy... Ed Noseworthy. See, Jamie is producing from Offset. Remote. She's remote actually... I'm not production. even real. She's actually like... I'm, <laughs> I'm like a, a animatronic that she's controlling. Five Nine Nine bins have the best... French movies, I agree. Yeah, I do agree. CJ, CJ, <laughs> CJ best Boner French thinking. movies, <laughs> best French movies. Emmanuel, we're just gonna refer oh, to it Emmanuel. as Emmanuel. Um, Emmanuel. So this movie was cool because it was like it starts off like it's funny. Okay, it starts off in the scene that they're doing like a they're in Ireland, no Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Definitely Scotland. They're I'm, definitely I'm, Scotland. I'm and three percent Scottish, according to my twenty-three. Well, I, I can tell you this: this director is a Scottish director, okay? And every fucking movie he does is in Scotland, except for Hellraiser or uh, Hellboy and The Descent, which was like in Mexico. I, you know, in fact, I think there was only like this was the only movie he did in Scotland. <laughs> but every movie, every movie, but that movie. <laughs> so every movie, this, this movie. It starts off there like in a training exercise, yeah, and. It's like they're doing stupid shit, you know, like you're running through the woods and you're rolling around in dirt and shit. And then they capture the guy, which is the guy from Grey's Anatomy. The, yeah. The, who I thought he looks like the guy from Vision from Avengers. I haven't seen Avengers. Or no, no, I have seen Avengers, but I haven't seen the TV show Wanda and Vision. It's good. Is it? Yeah, it's real good. I'm It's um, real good. But he looks like that dude. So there's a scene where the the bad guy, what do you call a bad guy? Uh, antagonist. Antagonist. Carlos has trouble with this too. Uh, Carlos is dead. He got bit by a world. <laughs> Fuck. So he may be dead. Uh, there's a scene where he's like, "Okay, you you passed, whatever. I need you to kill this dog." 
and this comes up again. So he's like, kill the dog, and he hands him the gun. He's like, it's just, it's like, just, I'm not going to do it. And this, he's like, because he's Irish now. Like you failed. Yeah, you. Fa he kills the dog. Boom, and then a cut scene. And this, okay, so they were. He was originally in special ops. And he that's was trying you, out to be his pet. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you do in special you, you, ops. You know they make you the, kill a fucking dog. Yeah, just like in uh, like a, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. No, not that. Uh, Benji. Kingsman, it was Benji. It was Benji. I, I Benji. never saw him. It was in Benji. He saw uh, Benji. I, you know they have like butt. eight, but Benji's. Dude, I didn't. I didn't like it after that. Herbie really? the Lug Bug, Love Bug. I like oh, that. Yeah, the first yeah, one of those. Yeah. You know those, but anyway, they kill this dog. It's a sheep dog. Is the word in Scotland, right? Uh, then so he he's no longer. He was in, also in Train Spotting. He was in Train Spotting. He's the too. one that died of cat shit. Really? Yeah. Hmm. He died from getting poisoned. My wife and I him. rented this from a Dutch version of Blockbuster when we lived in the Netherlands. It was gnarly. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Huh. There's one Blockbuster left in the United States. Where is it at? In the Netherlands? Bend, or Bend Oregon. Bend, Oregon? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so we end scene. He's no longer in special ops. He's doing this shit with the army, right? Cool. They get dropped off. They have a. It's a. It's a. It's a drill. They've got like special like uh, their blanks, the little yeah, the things on the on the tip. Um, real quickly, going back to Howl, it's basically they're in fucking England. They're on a subway. <laughs> Bunch of people fucking die. <laughs> it's a love story. Uh, the werewolves are out of, during the day. We don't even have to talk about how this was Carlos. Uh, I'm doing this like Carlos Howl. Wait, one wait. Minute. So what was your what was your uh, Howl experience gripe, though about uh, the, about the subway? You so okay, the subway. so okay, so they're on a train. Have you been to England? England, England, England. England. So the, it was the tube. I think you call it the tube, not the train. But anyway, they're in a fucking subway car, like in New York City. You got people on this side, you got people on this side. And the guy's doing the Indiana Jones shit. He's like, do you have your ticket? And then he's like, well, I don't have a fucking ticket, the chick. And she's like, well, I'll just pay the, you know, do you want to just pay the fine? And he's like, no, I don't want to pay shit. And he's like, fuck it. This guy is like, he wants a promotion. God damn it, Sam, now I'm going into howl. So That's cool. He <laughs> is this dude who wants to be an aspiring conductor, I guess. I don't fucking know. And he wants a promotion. This douchebag is <laughs> conductor. conductor. Uh, he's like, it's basically since it's England, it's Thomas the Train, but the conductor. So they starts off. He's in the graveyard shift. He wants a promotion. The guy he fucking hates gets the fucking promotion. He's like, hey, by the way, Carlos is dying of uh, werewolf AIDS. Fucking just go work. So he goes and works. He goes and works because a double, the a girl double. he likes is He loves her. Yeah. He doesn't like her. He loves her because oh. he ends up dying for her. And more of the story is no one gives a shit. They're going to, you die and that's, you know, for love and no. Okay. So, <laughs> um, on VHS, he, he watched it on VHS. See, but they stopped making tapes. I know. So I don't, I don't think that. I yeah, think but they didn't stop making tapes in the Netherlands. When did Dog Soldier? Two thousand one. Yeah, they were still making tapes. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I can believe that. Jamie, will you look up what the last VHS uh, tape like was? She's like Siri. That's pretty yeah. cool. Or, hey, yeah. Jamie, can you look up uh, what the last? Uh, I look so what tan. the last VHS? I like. Uh, I like what you're saying here. Carlos died of anal warts. Oh, there you go. Okay. Carlos is Mexican. Uh, Berto is uh, Half. Colombian. Half. No. Oh. They're different. But I think Carlos is done because he died of anal wars. <laughs> Werewolf. Werewolf. Anal wars. wars. So, okay, so they're on this train. Train stops because there's a fucking deer on the train. The conductor gets out, which is a guy from Dog Soldiers. History of Violence. That was the very last VHS tape released. I was stationed there from 2001 to 2005. Red. Good place. What, the Netherlands? Yeah. Been there a couple times. That's Amsterdam. the one with the windmills, right? Yeah. All right, that's Tulips. And do they have the, the Van Gogh Midsommar. Museum? Midsommar. You know what else is there? I can't. The Anne Frank House. Oh, wow. That sh Oscar, <laughs> that Schlinger's <laughs> list is different. That's for a different show. Um, but um, I thought you'd appreciate that. I, I, I do actually appreciate the nod. 
So they're on a train. The guy from Dog Soldiers just gets off. He gets 86 because the werewolf is like, you know, he's like, oh, there's a fucking dead, dead deer on the fucking train, which a, in a train would go right through. Yeah, how did a deer stop a train? Well, you know what's weird is the imagery of antlers, because in Dog Soldiers, that house, which is more so, they should have said, instead of Jaws, Aliens, and Predator with a twist, they should have said it's more like Predator, part one, uh, not with Danny Glover. Uh, what's that movie with uh, Chris, Christopher Walken down in the woods? Uh, the Hunter? Uh, I don't know. It's the one with Nam. It's probably Platoon. We'll just go with Platoon. platoon. I don't know. I, I didn't realize that was straight vodka. I thought it was like a margarita mix, and I just it's, drank it's a whole sec. glass of it's vodka. It's just triple sec. You're just drinking triple sec. <laughs> no. And uh, the movie... Uh, Deer Hunter. Deer Hunter. Thank you. Yes. Uh, dude, she's on, man. I know. Dude, she's Wait, good. what did... Uh, yeah, see? Yeah, 2006, A History of Violence was the last speech. Jamie, man. you haven't met Jamie yet in I person. Haven't. Is she Carlos? No. no. She no. is a student at UTSA. Okay, cool. It, we somehow, me and Carlos. Roadrunners, right? Yeah, the Roadrunners. Road runners. Yep. But is me that and, copyright infringement from Warner Brothers, though? Maybe. Hmm. Uh, so me and, me and Carlos submitted a thing saying, hey, we have a professional podcast that we need a producer for. Okay. And we put up, and and they actually accepted us at UTSA wow. as a professional production. That's sick. I mean, this and is so, professional. Like, if you if the home viewer could see, like, they've, they've got a, the lights that make him have the heroin eyes and me. Yeah. Look like no, a, the heroin eyes are because I need makeup. Oh, okay. Why am I like with an orange tan though? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm like super. I'm actually pale in real life. No, um, you're not. I'm you're not bit. pale. But you're not, not. Well, see on this well, screen. I'm, so I'm, I didn't set anything because remember how no one's here today. Oh, dude. Carlos so didn't come, straight Jamie's up, not here. this this show almost didn't happen. I have like a I have a keyboard here that's never here. And and uh, unmentionables. Other things. Un unmentionables. <laughs> but um, so, so Jamie applied to be a intern for us to okay. get school credit. Cool. And somehow we convinced UTSA to actually give her credit to be our intern. <laughs> that's right. Does that make sense? That's that's like they no one obviously no one's watched this. How many people are watching this right now? I just have to sign off. Uh, I don't know because I don't know how to tell that because Jamie normally does that. Um. Jamie, how many people are watching this right now? I don't know. Jamie, can you tell how many people are watching this? Jamie's not even here. She's not even in town. Where is she? The I Netherlands? Probably the Netherlands. Probably the uh, Netherlands. She says five people are watching right now. So we convinced UTSA to let us get an intern. The intern is getting credit for this. I have to sign off on it every like, month. Do you use like an electronic signature? No, no. I actually, like, she brings me this little... So she's a real person. Thing. Yeah. You, should, you just said she didn't live here. She's a student at UTSA. Does she, do you live on campus? I like. I'm gonna have a conversation. With I have never asked her any of that stuff. All I ask her is like, who was an event? Oh wow, my sister's watching. Like Brad. Brad, that's super cool. See, your yeah. sister's one of the five people watching. That's cool. See, that's cool. I don't even uh, like. I'm running this thing right now, and I don't even like. Jamie's not even running it yet. She knows what's going on. Well, uh, hello, Jamie, Mara, you... and hello, Charlotte, if you're watching. I didn't My daughter's watching, I don't so. care to know what Jamie, like, anything about her. Okay. Honestly, she's, as like, long as she's 20 not years old or 22 years old. Okay. Somehow she spends her Saturday nights and Wednesday nights here with us. That's cool. Um, That's cool. But, Jamie, are you, where's your family from? Where are you? Where are the you? Netherlands. You're visiting your family, right? Okay. That's a good thing that Charlotte's not watching. That's a this good thing. This is not a kid-friendly no, show. This is like uh... <laughs> Minecraft. Yes. Okay. Cool. Anyway, so going back to the show of the well, actually we're merging Wolf and Dog Soldiers. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. So Wolf, because <laughs> we're not even talking about the same movie anymore. Uh, Howl is just it. It, it could have been done way better. And to me, it was like that movie with the guy from Lock, Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels, the, the rugby guy. Yep. 
what's the movie where he's got the meat cleaver on the train and kills everybody? I don't know. It was a horror movie. Clive Barker wrote it. How do I know more about horror? I thought you knew a lot about horror. Clive Barker is totally a pervert. Eh, I mean, all these guys are sick. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wasn't really impressed with Howl. Uh, I, I found it really just very the formula. Of we don't movie. have to talk about it. Oh, I'm ending it right Carlos now. isn't I'm, here because he got bit by. And a werewolf. that was his pick. He got bit by a werewolf. I'm just honoring it. And tonight's a full moon. Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. Midnight meat train. See, fuck. thank you. She's on it. Twenty. Like Jamie, how old are you? Twenty one, twenty two. She's actually like like a forty eight year old guy. No, like she's she's here sometimes. She's sitting right over there, like doing this shit. She's doing all this stuff. Yeah, I didn't like how twenty three. She's but dog soldiers. So dog soldiers, you're they're doing a training exercise. Jamie, where I, you didn't answer me. Where where's your family from? The Netherlands. Or where where are you visiting? Right now, because you're not at UTSA. I don't know. There, there's a. Okay, sorry. Oh, you're good. No, uh, I mean. Sorry, I, that fucking drink you brought. I don't even know what's going on. Like I'm gonna sleep right here in Carlos's mom's basement. That's it. That's it. Um, next to the human oh, toys. Shit. What does that mean? Sorry, Jamie. She said, "Why do you want to dox me?" I don't even know what that means. Like, outer where she. Like stuff about her personal. Oh, uh, well, I thought you were gonna like, really no, start social. No, it's more that I've never, Jamie. I've never asked you. I, Jamie, I have never asked you any of this stuff. And who's CJ Joner thirteen? He knows you. Really he knows well. you. <laughs> he knows you really well. Um, so, dog soldiers. They he doesn't kill the German Shepherd, and they're in Scotland. It's a dude from. He's the doctor from Grey's Anatomy. The, you know who the the captain is though from the Special Forces. I just told you. It's the guy from fucking... Um, no, I didn't. Where's he from? The, the actual Special Force guy. He's uh, he's uh, Sir Davos from uh, Game of Thrones. He is Sir Davos from Game of Thrones. Yeah. He doesn't have the whole mustache. Which, beard Game thing. of Thrones, honestly, like at first, started off kind of eh. Then the mid part, I was like, then holy awesome. fuck. And then the ending, eh. the, the mountain, <laughs> yeah. the mountain, dude. Boring. Yeah. The, the gross couple that are brother and sister died in a polite little... What do you call him? Yeah, like, she should have died way worse than that. Horrible. The only she guy a horrible that death. got the service done, and this goes back to Scotland, because werewolves were in Scotland, and they were in Scotland too. Yeah. Was when they're, Did I mention that I'm 53% Scottish, according to 23 and Me? Sponsored. I believe it, because we all derive from the Moors, and it's over there, and yeah. it makes sense. Um, but, side note, also... Uh, William Wallace, he didn't have a kill. <laughs> he had a full on beard and armor. He wasn't this like dude who died of I mean, He was a piece of shit. They all were pieces I, of shit. I went to where William Mar uh, William Wallace was drawn and quartered. Like a Where the part there. where he like drops the little handkerchief. Yeah, I don't know if that it. happened, but like that? this beef eater guy was like This is where William Wallace was killed. I thought beef eater dudes were gin and also English. It isn't. It was in England. They took him to the Tower oh, of London to execute him. Crazy. Hmm. The Tower of London was one of my places that I wanted to see like most in my life. So, but I they they hung and quartered days. them, right? Yeah, they ripped didn't him, decapitate ripped them. them into a couple pieces. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, if you think about the way, like, okay, so drawn. modern drawn like a French girl. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> modern. I mean, there was enough room on that fucking piece of wood for both of them. Really? They didn't have to. Leo didn't have to drown. That's true, because of the chest. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that, honestly, that, that ending scene of Titanic is kind of how Howl ended. So, straight up, <laughs> everyone's already dead, and they're running away from the... Um, you hated Howl, didn't you? I didn't like it. I'll be honest with you. The only reason... I didn't watch the movie. The only reason I know, <laughs> I'm, I'm being dead serious. The only reason I know about the movie, you just skip through it real quick. No, no, no. So there's like uh, Carlos had sent me uh, <laughs> some cheat notes. It's like this, like watch the movie in ten minutes. And Doug was polite enough to invite me to come over and seduce me to watch it during the like prior to coming on this. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna just skim it, like clip notes, ten minutes, ten minutes. And from what I gathered, but it's pretty informative because I'm, I know the fucking movie pretty goddamn yeah. well. So everyone's already dead. They've already ran away from the, the train and his chick that he's in love with, right? 
he's like, hey, the werewolves are coming for us. Here's my name tag. I love you. Kisses her like a fucking idiot. Decides to play hero. You know how they say not all heroes are capes? No, these heroes die <laughs> ripped to shreds by werewolves. So but he didn't get ripped to shreds. He just got he. Well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So he hands her the name tag, which is like the blue stone in the Titanic. See, that's a correlation. He's like, here, shit, here you go. See, shit, dude. Like, I know. Going, like, I'm getting deep. I'm, I'm deep. I'm deep. Dude, fuck Carlos. He's got werewolf yeah. uh, diarrhea. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so he. Just turns into like a boring Man, Michael J. Fox. They are good. Yeah. He turns into a Michael J. Fox werewolf, though. He's not full on like the legs broken in like that. And <laughs> no, you know, he looked like a person with a fucked up face. No, he looked like a Michael J. 80s. You know what I mean? Like the <laughs> cheap. I, I didn't like it. And it was during the day. So I'm not a big werewolf connoisseur. But as far as I know, I haven't been reading the comments. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You are able to talk about the Titanic. How many times have you seen it? So my sister, side note, who's watching, that's one of her favorite movies. We watched it when it was a double cassette. Dude, fuck that movie. I hate that movie. It was really movie. boring. It was dumb. Um, however, they had Billy Zane, who's in The Phantom, which is a who? terrible, awesome, good PG movie. I love Billy Zane because Billy Zane is like... He's also in Zoolander for like a little bit. He is because he's the, the main dude, but... Billy Zane, one, he's got a sick fucking name. He's also in this movie with uh, Sam Neill, who's in The Mouth of Madness, another Clyde Barker film. Uh, dude, how do I know so much? You just triggered me. Dude, it's either, Mouth of Madness is awesome. It's either the vodka sip sponsored by High Noon. So, so Mouth, Mouth of Madness is literal a psychological horror. So, you know what? I don't really care for the cheesy, like, slasher film bullshit, like, Halloween, how boring, Jason, boring. Uh, Freddy Cougar, boring. These are, <laughs> I'm serious, because Freddy Cougar's a dude with a claw who is a, a, a piece of shit pedophile who got burned, right? They even had yeah. a TV show. Uh, Jason Voorhees is this dude. Hold on, let me. Good question, Elmi Belagazar. Uh, what is thou to tip deliciously? Oh, what is that's, that? That's just a stream element. I was like, I, did, is, I, I was expecting one of those swipes. No, no, if people, like, no, if people want to give us... He's halfway there in Twin Peaks. I like Twin Peaks, but Twin Peaks is one of those, like, do you really like Twin Peaks, though? Because Twin Peaks is boring Dude, as fuck. I fucking love Twin Peaks. I like it because of the music. I like it because of the characters, the little creepy... Yeah. You know that dude? Reverse. Uh, I like the dude from Dune. Um, it was cool. But the reboot, Amanda Palmer... I mean, I saw the movie that they did after they released the films, The Burning Fire, Chlamydia, whatever it's called. She was saying, "You like Billy it? Zane is in Twin Peaks. Oh, I didn't know that. He shows up at the end of the Who is last he? season. He's like a millionaire guy who's like trying David to David Bowie like, do was in a, Twin like Peaks. Development, yeah. So is the, the agent, which is what homeboy, uh, not Fincher, what's his name? The guy, the main guy, Lost Highway guy, the director. What's yeah. his fucking name? I don't know. We'll call him Billy Zane. <laughs> so Billy Zane directed it. And yeah, it I don't. Cool. I don't know what's going on anymore because you poured me a whole like this it's thing was like sick. completely filled nah, with shit. vodka. Nah, I did not realize and that was straight vodka. And I drank a whole. And you wanted mug. to live deliciously. <laughs> so David Lynch. David Lynch. You. David Lynch. Which David Lynch directed Dune. And I saw the new Dune. I actually saw it on what a you flight. Think about the new Dune. You know what? My life visually it was really cool because I personally hate flying, and um, it was I fly Southwest and the plug. Anyway, so they let you watch movies, right? And I'm watching it, and I'm like, "Whoa, this is cool!" Because it's got the dude from Star Wars, the new one. Um, I don't know his name, but the peppered hair dude, good looking dude, it's five o'clock shadow, kind of like hot dog. Uh, he's in it, and the dude that's in Narcos and and Thor, Thanos, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that guy, that actor, that was really cool. Uh, he's in it, and it was just a really good film. And I liked the visual stuff. I mean, the David Lynch one was cool, but it was really like too much Tronny with the color bullshit. Well, I mean, it was it was that's uh, it was kind of boring. Filmed. It's kind of boring, you know. Tron one is really good. Josh Brolin, yes. Um, 
Dude, she's on it. Yeah. Jamie give her, uh, shit. give her, uh, extra, uh, side note, I give it, uh, uh, I don't know, like two points. I don't know. I, I actually asked Jamie if she wanted to be on the show, but she was like, no. She didn't want to be seen with a bunch of old dudes talking shit while they're drunk. I mean, potato, potato. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, she's 20. We, we just found out she was 23. I thought she was like 19 or 21. Huh. Somewhere in there. I, th- I knew she was at least 21 because she talked about going to the St. Mary's trip. But, um, crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't like Howell. Um, uh, bottom line, <laughs> uh, he, she's walking through the subway with a name tag and it just, here's what's weird about Howell at the very end. She's walking through there. She, she just escapes this whole like fucked up situation. She's walking through the, she, she gets to the East Borough, um, uh, station you know, she had walked forever because he sacrificed his life basically to stop. It's her. very cliche. Yeah. So she's walking through at like six a.m. or something. No, it was like eleven thirty because the sun was out. Whatever. Yeah. She's she's walking through and she has the name tag in her hand, hand covered in blood. Girl, whatever. Very very like cheesy. But she's covered in blood. And yeah. So no commuters, so, so no commuters are like. You know oh, how I gathered. The- so that ten minute full film that I saw and that 15 minute second clip that I saw what I gathered was this is how desensitized we are as a society I, I got deep into it for the 10 minute clip note right clip notes the yellow, the yellow book yeah anyway so I didn't have time nor the patience to watch the two-hour film uh, but from what I gathered she's walking through the hall everyone's like New York style on the go no one gives a fuck she's literally drenched like Carrie yeah she's and, got a lot of blood on her honestly like Uh, What I, you know, the deep meaning of, like, what I gathered from it was that no one gives a fuck. Everyone's worried about themselves. Yeah, there's werewolves in the the fucking woods, and there's deers that are stopping (laughs) high-velocity subway trains. But, cool. Whatever. It was boring. Dog soldiers going back to... (laughs) So he doesn't kill the dog. We, we, they drop everybody off, <clears throat> like a team of eight or nine, which is like the Predator reference, because Predator, they get dropped in. Side note, Predator was filmed in Costa Rica at a restaurant. Did you know that? Dead serious. Dead serious. The whole jungle scene was filmed in the restaurant. Look it up, Jamie. Look it up. I guarantee <laughs> you. Uh, so they're, they're, they're there, and they're doing a training exercise, and they got fake guns with blanks. And so it's like, dude, they're in the woods. They're in fucking, uh, like, Scotland. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, either either doing Highlander shit or you're fucking doing there can something. Only be one. Which trust? I will bring that up. I already have this whole in my notes, in my mental fucking Rolodex. This is one of your. This is your favorite vampire. Or, uh, it uh, is my favorite vampire or, movie. It <laughs> is. Favorite werewolf it, movie, right? Uh, I mean, that's the only werewolf movie that I know. Hence, by default, it is my favorite. Oh, movie. I'm learning to be a whole list. We're done here. I, I, you know what? Honestly, so I, I'll be to the viewer. Werewolves. I was gonna call them werewolves. Werewolves are my least favorite. Yeah, you said they're boring. They're boring. It's like cool, a super strong beast that can bite you, and it's like the vampire. The vampire is like they bite you, and then cool, you become them. But it's like for me. I love... We should have done fucking 28 Days Later. That's my favorite horror movie. Uh, 28 Days Later. I like that movie too. And I don't like Carlos Slice Oh my god. Dude, it's so good. Because they were the first movie to take the boring zombie, which is... You do zombies. Zombies are the least interesting fucking... They're, they're fucking... They're the pawns in the chess game of horror. You know? I would say worlds are like more like the bishops. You know, yeah. I, I'm just going to side note here since we just keep going off subject because you are... I just drank an entire triple glass soap. of uh, triple soap. That's all you drink. Yeah, you drink triple um, soap. I was in Canada and watched. Uh, they have 28 the uh, days later. Okay. When it first came out. Okay. I leave the theater, and it was like terrified. I, no, it was like eleven o'clock at night. Okay. Or so. I'm walking. We walk out and nothing. There's no one around. 
The okay. entire town. It's not like it being in New it was York. A, it was like, a dead. It was deer. empty. It was a dead like, deer on the fucking <laughs> street. It was awesome. creepy. Like you just watch this crazy ass movie and you walk out and it's like him walking out when he's going across. Town oh no! So straight up, it legit. Like okay, so if you haven't seen, I love Twenty Eight Days Later. That's like my favorite fucking yeah. movie. So if you haven't seen Twenty Days Later, it's by Danny Elfman. No, he did all the, <laughs> he did the Batman music. movie. Music. Yeah. Uh, he is by Danny, the guy who did the beach and um, bro, bro, Train Spotting. Bro, 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 bro. Starts with the B, right? Uh, Danny B. Boyle. Boyle. Danny, Danny Boyle. Boyle. Yep, Danny Boyle. So the movie starts off the world's fucked, kind of like how. <laughs> at one point, like right now, no, right, like we're legit, like right now. But like you know, at one point, uh, what's that show with the zombies? That's a good one. You should drink that one. Wait, grapefruit or black cherry? Uh, black cherry is like Vegas. Uh, grapefruit is like a, a, a chill at the pool kind of thing. Okay, great. Yeah, you want to chill at the pool? Talk about yeah. horror. So that movie, The Walking Dead. At one point it was cool, then it's so fucking boring now. But that's how it started off. He wakes up. He's like fucking. You see a cock shot. He's the scarecrow from Batman. He wakes up. <laughs> he's like looking around, and it's just the music was really done well. The imagery, the grainy, and the next thing you know, you, you see these like like it, basically they took the movie Outbreak and they made it thirty seconds, and then boom, they made it more interesting. It, it was, was it was the first really like fast zombie movie, innovative, and was the only fast Which zombie. Movie. I want to say, okay, people don't realize. There were fast zombies in Romero's Dawn of the Dead because when Which they go one? into the gas the Zach station, Snyder one. No, nope, when they go into the gas station, Dawn of the Dead, the black and white the one, the actual like the black no, and white one, nightmare. That's a uh, uh, Night of the Living Dead, the next one, the um, one that they're in the mall. Yes. When before what gas get, station? Charlotte. Before they one. get to the the mall, they stop at a Hold gas on. station. Does Vivance or Adderall need to sponsor this episode? Yeah. Probably. I don't do drugs. I don't even. I don't know what Vivans is, drink. but probably. I just, I just. I don't even. I don't even fucking take. Probably alcohol. Black Coffee needs to sponsor this episode. You could get canceled for that. What Black Same. Coffee? That Black Rifle <laughs> Coffee. There was this whole thing on it. I. You know what? I like. <laughs> I didn't coffee. say Black Coffee. Hey, hey, rifle hey, coffee. hey, 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 hey! I said Black Coffee. Hey, potato, potato. So. Um, when they go in the gas station, George Romero's kids are like in there, like playing zombies, and they run at him fast. They're the only zombies in any. Romero. Is that the the, the 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 dude shoots it? Yeah, yeah, he, and he comes out. And he's like, oh, when they're fueling up the helicopter. Wait, Isn't the thing blow up? Gas, right? I don't know. Do you use jet fuel in a helicopter? Uh, yeah, that's uh, why. I'm no. Like, why are they putting regular gas? The in only when I think of a helicopter, I think of Tom Selleck, <laughs> right? Like he. When I think of Tom Selleck, I just think of mustaches. You know what's funny? He shaved it off. Yeah. Wait, is Tom Selleck still alive? He's definitely still alive. He's like, he's like, he got canceled too. Everyone's getting canceled. Fuck! Can you not do anything without getting canceled anymore? No, he, I think he called uh, uh, Rosie O'Donnell a pig. <laughs> She's fat as fuck. No, it's not that. It's just like it was like just something about it. I don't know. I don't care. I, I'm, we're here to talk about <laughs> Dog Soldiers, the best vampire movie ever made. No, you um, said vampire movie. It is a vampire movie because <laughs> it's got the whole synopsis of getting a uh, synopsis doesn't even make sense, but uh, it just it just it's a good flick. Um, <laughs> Dog Soldiers. So they 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 do their training and exercise. And I'm gonna the, stop you there, okay? Because ahead. you haven't got past this point. I'm gonna. I'm about time. to fast forward. When we talked, this will be the last thing, and then I'll let you yeah, do yeah. whatever you want. I'm listening. So whenever tw uh, dog soldiers, at the very end, whenever all the shit's going down, so then my sister I, says I'm not good online. Fuck her. Fuck you. So whenever you're, does she mean like visually? I don't know. Or, what do you mean, Lada? Yeah. Like, like so aesthetically or. <laughs> Anyway. I'm looking at you right now, and I think I you look all right. right. Yeah, I think you look great. So, at the very end of Stay Dog Soldier, topic. the sound, um, the very the sound, uh, the music you reminded me. I actually watching. told Emily, I said, this music reminds me of Twenty Eight Days Later. Kind it's of like the like, you know who I thought did the music, Tom York. Oh, but he didn't. But I really thought that Tom York. Uh, I didn't see Suspiria. I didn't really like the soundtrack, but I'm a big Tom York fan. The, the band, The Smile, check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, Adam's Repeats, really great. 
uh, Radiohead, late Radiohead, not early Radiohead, early, early Radiohead. I saw Radiohead with R.E.M. two nights in a row. What era of Michael Stipe? Uh, whenever they played with Radiohead. Uh, they hadn't played Michael's. They hadn't played Orange Crush. Uh, no, it was after Shiny Happy People. Bullshit came out. Is that the one that? No, it's after the Tiger Head. Jamie, will you look at the Shiny Happy People album? I think my sister said I down to three. You with you included? Don't care. Some bullshit. I'm here to have a good time. I don't even care. I'm just I don't drinking care. We're just hanging out. out. Yeah, exactly. Now we got our sponsor, High Noon. High Noon Sun and, and Deep Eddie. Yeah. So, I think... But I did think the the like, to the point, I just, I, I'd seen this before several times, and what? I watched dog it again. Soldiers? Yeah, Dog Soldiers. I watched it again with Emily um, a couple days ago before I knew Carlos was going to get bit by a werewolf. And I, at the end, I'm like, man, I want to look up to see if the same guy did the sound for this that did, did it for, no, not at all. Not at all completely different people i mean it's a it's a hard sell like you're doing a boring fucking you do Scott. out of time 1991 i saw so i probably saw them, saw in, them in my sister 90, was born in 91 i probably saw them in like 93 she was two my sister was two the one of uh four people watching that's crazy um so what's crazy is you, you're doing a movie that's based in scotland and scotland sucks you're either doing fucking braveheart or you're doing highlander <laughs> So let's just go in the middle and do Dog Soldiers, which is the name of the fucking movie is generic as fuck. It's a terrible fucking name. This cover, honestly, there's a lot better covers. I don't know why they. I mean, terrible cover. the werewolf guys, the actors, they kind of resemble the alien. That's how I saw it. Like the symbiote. No, that's a Marvel shit. Uh, what do they call them? Xenoform? Xenomorph? Xenomorph. Xenomorph. They. The, they Remind me of the Xenomorph as far as the claws and the stance. Well, I mean, it's a, it's like a full-on like costume. It's just a costume. But they're on stilts. All yeah. those guys are on stilts For sure, because they're, they're like eight inverted. Feet tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which why are werewolves eight feet tall? I don't get that. I mean, and I know they, that wolves in real life are fucking big. To me, they just kind of look like huskies. Indeed. Who's helped me see for? It's a way to we we don't know. It's helped me. First time chat, long time listener, first time caller. That's cool. Um, so the the cool thing I thought with this movie is, I mean, I really like the premise of the movie. It's your favorite werewolf movie, so I want to ask you something. The only werewolf movie I know. Okay. Side note. So I want to ask you something about it. <laughs> Let's hear it. Why was the main woman a werewolf? Well, that she was a wolf that. But the entire time she's hanging out with them. Okay, so here's uh, we're gonna get to that too. Um, yeah, I want to get to that because I don't understand it. The lighting is horrible. You look. Also, you're not good online. Wow. Okay, yeah, my sister. I don't, I don't you think know what? Sister even likes you. You know what? She needs to create. I hate Doug and Alberta because <laughs> I am spoiler reveal admin reveal. I hate Doug and Carlos on the on the board. Look, I. Right now, this is probably the worst stream we've ever done. It's the because, best, in my opinion. It, I mean, probably the best. But we were having crazy technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. James Carlos, not here on site. Carlos got bit by a werewolf. Carlos <laughs> literally got bit by a werewolf today. And we don't even know... Doug is great. We, we don't even know... Job. I mean, other than the black circles under my Other eyes. than his heroin addiction, he's great. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm like fucking 60 years old. I mean, dude, for 70, you look great. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, no, I just was in the cards and like in true hard copy fashion, fuck it, do a live. Straight up. Like adapt to survive. Like a, you would in the woods if you were being attacked. Yeah, this was wolves. rough. Like we, like at eight o'clock, we were supposed to be going live and we were still like, why does the screen look like this? I oh, do. You have no idea. It was up two triangles. It was like geometry all over again. I, I literally like, was like, fuck this. Let's not do it. And then I said, here, drink a bottle of triple sack. It's <laughs> triple sack. It's it's we're like okay, Wait, so, you know we were pretty much resigned to we weren't even going to do the show we were just going no, to sit here and drink uh, by Doug ourselves did not in want Carlos's to do the show. mom's basement. But she was nice enough to make us uh, turn on the AC and make us uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Dude, what's weird is like we're at Carlos's mom's house in the basement. In the basement, and Carlos didn't even hear. I'm gonna feel weird leaving drunk. Nah, you'll be fine. He's got the werewolf. And be like, Lucia, uh, we're leaving. Adios. 
So you speak Spanish? I, do I speak Spanish? No. Okay. I don't speak any Spanish. Um, but we can just say adios. When we adios, speak, right? yeah. Okay, cool. yeah. That's what I learned when I eat at Taco Bell all okay, the time. Because cool. that's my thing. That's all we need. Um, that whole, like, Balcazar, it's just, it's actually uh, Smith. I just thought it sounded cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, so we're, okay, so they straight up are dropped off. He's in the runts now. He's in the army. Okay? Because he yeah. couldn't get into the fucking special forces. Because he wouldn't kill a he dog. He wouldn't kill a fucking dog. And I'm pretty sure the dog was, it was like a sheep dog. I don't, I don't know shit about dogs. My girlfriend loves dogs. I don't remember. But I, I don't know shit about dogs. I don't remember. I'm not a, I'm actually, I'm not a pet person. Uh, I have only had one pet in my life briefly. His name was Bonkers. My sister can confirm. He was eaten by coyotes. Who maybe was eaten by werewolves? werewolves. I, I don't fucking werewolves. know. R.I.P. Bonkers. Um, rest in peace. Yeah. For real. Uh, so, yeah. So, they're doing an exercise and... They're hanging out and they're doing like what cowboys would do, kind of like what Young Guns, a scene from Young Guns Part Two with Emilio. They're just hanging out, grilling some beans, and then out of nowhere, this boosh, something just drops, and it's like a fucking, cow. It's, it's a, a cow. cow. I'll go with a deer, but it's a giant dead corpse of an animal, and everyone's like, "What?" It ran off a cliff. Nah, it was a fucking something. It had an exit wound. Remember, they were inspecting. And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, this was it was gored, yeah, by a werewolf." They said it was like fucked up, and then it like ran for its life. And Honestly, like, I couldn't even understand because like, oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, oh. that's my heritage, bro. I know the freedom, the fucking <laughs> Mel Gibson, the fucking who hates everyone. Sugar tits. It's my sugar tits. When I went to Scotland, Scotland, and you know what I did? One night, I had a night off. I was there working had a night off and I was like we were in a town where uh, where James Bond lived Roger Moore no Sean Connery Sean Connery and we Ooh, found Roger the bar Moore is my where he favorite. hung out we found the bar where he hung out so we literally go to this pub to see like oh maybe Sean Connery will be there this okay. is where they say he hangs out no, he, his signatures and pictures were everywhere but cool. he wasn't there so I had a beer where Sean did Connery did you even order a uh, uh, Martini shaken on certain. No, I did not. Man, that's I gross. Have you ever had a martini? It's fucking dude, gross. Dude, it's fucking. Dude, a martini is a rich person's version of a shot. No, a martini it's just straight up is an alcoholic's version of a shot. Straight it's just up. like. It, a martini. It's like four ounces of liquor. It's like what you know. gave me a while ago. Know, that's what you poured yourself. <laughs> right. I think we can reverse the video. You poured it for me. I don't know. I don't know. How many and people? I'm still drinking this stuff. It's good. It's super good. It's chill. So, what I think is, um, yeah, so, okay, check this out. They, this beast just falls down, yeah. and everyone's freaking out, and then it's, like, daylight again out of nowhere, because this whole, like, time continuum doesn't make sense, because it's, like, dark, pitch fucking black, probably the blackest it was, and then it's just, like, dusk the whole fucking time. Kind of like the ending of Howl, which <laughs> made no fucking sense, because... As far as I know, werewolves are during the fucking full moon at night, right? In most Ish. movies. In most movies, yes. Well, if I was a werewolf, I wouldn't be out in fucking broad daylight. In Angel and Buffy, yes, they're only at night. Yeah, but see, that breaks all the fucking rules, though, because the rules are that wolves get killed by fucking silver, which is stupid. That's dumb. But that, not in all movies. The basic general consensus of rules, yeah. just like the yeah. garlic yeah. and the you know all that other bullshit for all the like uh, who is it? Zombies are fire. Frankenstein's fire. Uh, Stake through the heart for vampires and garlic and Christ. Um, fucking dog soldiers is fucking like nothing because they shoot them with bullets and we don't and know what kills them in dog. Nothing soldiers. kills them. They no. use the Highlander sword. They, blow they use the they pieces. use the Highlander. Fucking a uh, letter cup, a uh, letter opener. They use like fucking crazy machine guns. Okay, the lady. That's okay. what you said. Okay, so here's the thing: wolves in real life are giant, right? Yeah. Camera flashes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So she's a photographer. Side note: the fucking chick, the the protagonist. The main so, lady. 
So let's just speed it up so we can get to the chick. So they everyone starts dying and they're shooting everything. They find the camp of the special forces. They find the dude who's the guy from fucking um, Game of Thrones who's also the conductor. He's not the conductor, but he's in Game of Thrones. And they say, hey, you're bleeding. Let's patch you up. He's like, they're all, I saw them, I saw them all mutilated. And he doesn't say mutilated because that's a big word. He says... They were ripped to shreds. Ripped to shreds. They, anyway. Our Scottish is off. Yeah, it's point. off. It's, it's like... No, it's on point. Is it? Because it'd be... It's ripped to shreds. <laughs> like, Connor... I don't speak Gaelic. But you don't speak Gaelic? No. Well, you're not a true fucking uh, yeah. Scottish, Scottish dude. So, they say, hey, this is fucked. And the radio doesn't work as in true fashion. And then they're like, there's guts everywhere. People are stepping on them. It's fucked. And then, holy fuck, out of nowhere, this chick in a G-Wagon pulls up. She's like, hello, get in. And then they're like, fuck it. And everyone's shooting, like, guns like crazy because they now have real guns because they got rid of their blanks because all the dead guys, they grab their machine guns and they hop into the truck. It's like a old FJ Cruiser, which would be a Land Cruiser. They have um, old FJ Cruisers. And those are sick. They have them on Austin Highway. They're, they're like, like, yeah. like 80K. Yeah, they're still they're expensive. They're expensive as fuck. So you, they hop in, and like the werewolves are just like licking the glass, <laughs> and on top. Yeah, why didn't they just punch a hole in there? Right, and then they start doing that, and then like the chicks, like you know, it's like you, you pan and the wheel ends off, and they're stuck, and then boom, they fucking take off. And then flash forward, then she's like, "Hey, here's this random house." Uh, and they walk in. There's a pot cooking with food. It's sketch as fuck. There's pictures of everyone, a.k.a. we're doing fucking chainsaw shit now. They go to this random house in the woods. They're cooking food. They're cooking food to eat the fucking humans. That's what they're fucking doing. You know what I mean? She's the inside man. She's the fucking boring, recycled fucking... Okay, so so you're saying she the whole time... She knew the whole fucking time. She the whole time was helping set up these people. Absolutely. She took them to the fucking house. Okay, so why at one point did she say... I know how to kit, and but they she gets interrupted. She says, "I know how." To, she was about to say, "I know how to kill them," but she because she was an aspiring photographer. That's why. Because look, she was sent on duty to take photographs as a zoologist. Right? As a zoologist, as, yeah. as a zoologist does, you take a thirty-five fucking millimeter film camera that's going to be terrible in fucking exposure and all that shit. Oh yeah, we're sponsored by High Noon, by the way. <laughs> Dave Portnoy's finest. Not a, does Dave Portnoy own this or not? I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Who, who, how many people do we got? Two. I don't know. Jamie, can you see how many people are watching right now? Uh, for some reason, Berto wants to know. I don't care. I'm just curious if my sister's still watching. <laughs> oh, you're wondering if she's still watching? Yeah, because she just like left. I don't give a shit. I just want to know if Dave Portnoy's like, I can't even watch my brother. I know, I know. Because she fucking hates me. She does. Uh, uh, God, e. look Winer, at this. Uh, High Noon Winer? Hmm. E and J Gallo Winery. Um, e and J Gallo Winery. Why is Jamie the have a fucking mask that's scary as fuck? Or emoji? That's... It's like a band. So I book a band called Contravoid. Look up Contravoid, Jamie. That mask <laughs> reminds me of Contravoid. Look him up. So E. J. Gallo is... Plug. Is a um, winery. You know, Gallo and Son. Say, that's scary. Three times. Yeah. So Gallo owns the majority of all these like small. It's a private wineries. winery. Yeah, vineyard or winery. Uh, they're a full-on winery. They actually have the only now glass down too. making lost factory somebody. in the U.S. We lost someone. That's it. That's you cool. know what? All I need Who is cares? two viewers. One for you. One for me. That's it. We're good. <laughs> okay. I'll take Lada. You can take Jamie. We're good. Jamie and I. Yeah. So. Wait, did Lada go to UTSA? She did. She got her undergrad in UTSA. She's actually on her master's program now. Yeah. Shout out Lada master's program. Wait, she's going to the master's right now. She's yeah. doing a master's right yeah. now. Well, are you getting your master's at uh, UTSA, Lada, or not? When you ask how many people are watching, people get scared and leave. Good. Oh, no. Good. Okay. I didn't know that. That's not good. No, that's good. Because I don't mm-hmm. want anybody to know that the wolves got Carlos. Where was? Where's the old man? Um, oh, he got bit by werewolves. Gaming, he got bit by a werewolf and has uh, blood diarrhea. Or I'm him and I got the I got bit by a werewolf. <laughs> and you've turned and into I, a, I've turned into a werewolf. werewolf. I got the werewolf hair. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> where's the old man? <laughs> you both wear. Oh, shit. You both wear uh, cut off. I don't jean wear. Jacket I, no, jeans. this is a utility belt for a male. So like, hey, fuck my fucking eye at work doesn't work. I what have a contact. F- I contact. You have spare I have contacts. Spare, I'm blind. Negative eight point five in both eyes. You're what seventy five. I'm fucking fourteen and I can't see shit. Just in case it goes bad. Oh no! Your audio is going in and out. No, that's, that's good, normal. No. See, I used to be this guy that was <laughs> called "I hate Carlos and Doug." It, it. No, I know it does go in and out. Here, fix it. I, I don't know how to. Jamie, fix, that. fix it remotely. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, yeah, fix it. Just read our lips. Just well, sign language. Dude, you got like you know what we need. You need a right sign here, language person. See that. You need a high, sign language person. Oh, it's man. Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good. T- what? Well, that's sick. Yeah. What does that even mean? It's working for me. It went out once for me. Oh, oh that's God. Not good to know. She's doing it. Yeah, it always, honestly, the two times I, like, literally created an account to destroy the show, <laughs> it cuts out. Like, the intro, if you just now log on, it takes a while. It, it sucks. It's bad. I think you should just it's cancel good. the show. No, we, it's not good. <laughs> we just stopped doing our show. Yeah, just be quiet. And well, we did have that one episode where our actual audio went out. Hmm. It was, like... It was bad. That sucks. Let's so, finish up Dog Soldiers here because, like, you ready to go? Obviously, people hate our fucking show. Oh, I we don't got care. diverse this is great. gang saying like "old man" and audio sucks, and no, your no, sister saying audio sucks. Okay. Hey, well, let's talk about safe word. I just don't. I don't understand why the lady who's setting them up. So that she takes him to the house, right? How is she able to force herself not to become a vamp or a werewolf? A vampire. Werewolf. Until she wants to. So apparently, apparently, remember in Howl? How do I know so much about Howl in those 10 minutes? When the werewolf howled, plug, uh, she started turning into a werewolf. Her eyes turned yellow. And yeah. So what I think, what I think is like these, it was a family of wolves, a pack of wolves, if yep. you will. And she was just, she had control because she hadn't fully... Never said audio sucks. Please take all times I'm making babysitting, <laughs> making that money. Nice. Uh, she she just turned into this like um, I don't know. I, you know, it's a, there's a lot of gray areas with a chick because she's a photographer. So the flashlight, the bright flash. Why is she helping them fight the werewolves if she is one of them? Well, my favorite part, or not my favorite part, and my I'm being sarcastic when I say this is when she's like, "It's that time of month, and I'm a bitch." And then she, like the werewolves come up. And then, wow. so, there's... We're going to speed it up a little bit. Um, this reminds me of a comb right there. Anyway. No one can see that but you. I can see it. Um, they just... Dude, Ooh, honest... Black cherry. It's, it's like good. Las Vegas. It is. It is. Lucky number seven. It, it's just it's just weird because, like, they're trapped in this house. Like, supposedly, she's like, oh, the werewolves are hanging out in this barn. They go to the barn. This guy gets eaten alive. Um, they fucking blow up the barn because they have count. They must have liked to do balloons because they had all those cans, canisters, those tanks, those red tanks. Remember? They had like yeah. they had like fifteen like of those. flammable tanks. Yeah, like they must have either been clowns, clowns, which would have been a better horror movie, I think. <laughs> this which is your is, favorite werewolf. It's movie. the only werewolf movie I know. So, hence, by default, my favorite. Um. It was just, a th- I think, a well-done film. Yeah, because you know, was, I, the I, budget was low. The budget was low. I do like the story. It's the, a good story. It had good gore, I feel. Yeah. Like the part when he starts stabbing the werewolf. Like just... just, and, just tapping and, then, him. and then just, like, nothing. And, it's like and then he gets a scene where you're yeah, like... Yeah, he shanks him. It was like American yeah. Me. He's like, open your yeah. eyes, essay werewolf. Yeah. And then he just stabs him. But what was stupid to me was that guy in that whole scene, like, he tries, he tries to, like... Punch him, fist fight him, dude. Like, that shit was badass. He like was he like fist was fought a uh, werewolf. Dumb. I didn't like that. And then like the Joe, dogs just. I think his name is Joe. Maybe draw, 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 Joe. And then they fucking like the dogs there. Because here's the thing. Jamie says shake, shake like crazy. So there's a dog in this fucking end part. There's another dog. Because yeah. they killed a dog in the beginning. Uh, like a, an Australian Shepherd or a Border Collie or something. Oh, shit. Larry's back. Guess who's back? Hold on. 
I'm gonna exit camera real quick. No. I don't know what's going on. Lyric, I have your movies right here. There you go. I'll take possession. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> I, I got train of thought. I got nervous when Lyric jumped on. We're talking about shanking and fist fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I just, I don't know, man. I think Lyric's was... a professional filmmaker now. Oh, I she heard. works for Apple. That's sick. Apple Plus. Rad. Um, I really feel that the movie, I mean, dude, a werewolf movie is a hard sell. You know, I mean, you don't make a werewolf movie. Have you seen, uh, what, what werewolf movies have you seen? None. Okay. I'm dead serious. This is the only movie I know. First of all, I want you to watch Angel. Well, watch it. Season five, episode three. Or any of the stuff. Sarah Michelle Gellar's in it, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, Buffy. Mm. So, but, uh, Seth Green plays the were a werewolf. I know what wow means. Seth, Seth World Green. of Warcraft? Yeah, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Larry's going to play World of Warcraft. That's cool. So, Seth Green plays a, a werewolf in the early seasons. Okay. So, that's Seth good. Green? He's yeah, Seth robot Green. chicken? Dumb. Yeah. No. Seth Green. He plays a werewolf. Huh. So, um, let me let me see. Uh, the Howling. You got to watch that one. No, did you see that? The 10 minute version? The Howling. No. Who's in The Howling? <laughs> watch the whole thing. Is that, is that Stephen King one, right? Ginger Snaps? No, that's Silver Bullet. Hmm. Watch Silver Bullet. I like Silver Bullet. I'm gonna Actually, make no, why, you do, why don't you do Silver Bullet? That's a guy. Dude, I love Silver Bullet. That's a good one. Silver Bullet's the shit. Hmm. Silver Bullet, speaking of David Lynch earlier, 30 minutes ago, uh, the, one of the guys from Twin Peaks plays the preacher in Silver Bullet. Yes. And the he's preacher a werewolf. From, the preacher's a werewolf. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I've seen it. Who's also... Uh, that was a Stephen King film. Yeah. I just said it was a Stephen King yeah. You're like, no, it wasn't. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You totally said no, that. No, no. I, I think I think you said something else before we said... Uh, I said World of Warcraft, and then I was... No, no. You said something, and then you said Stephen King, and then I said Silver Bullet. What are your thoughts on Stephen the... King? He's an author. Dude, he's he's awesome. not a director. So yeah. when they say a Stephen King film, like... Okay, so like... It. The, the books are better than the movies. Yeah, the books are creepy. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> I'm not a big like it fan. Everyone's like, "Oh, it's fucked up." And the book was you know, fucked like the up. original or the new. The original one? with Tim Curry. Tim Curry, OG, scariest it's, book. It's, it's weird as shit. The original is weird as shit. I really like the new ones. I didn't. I thought they were too clowny, too. Cre I did like the Sasberg or the Asgard family, uh -huh. the tribe. Yeah, yeah. They're all great actors. Like as yeah, Sarsgard. Sask Sarsgard. 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 I'm thinking of Thor. Yeah, uh, the city. Um, but, uh, you know, um, what I think is that, uh, I just showed him a picture of, uh, Asgard, um, Starsgard, Starsgard. Oh, so speaking of, there's also his a dad werewolf movie with, with the dad. Starsgard, the Starsgard guy from it is in a werewolf movie. I mean, TV the show. The guy from the Netflix. TV show. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty good uh, werewolf TV show, too. I don't know. I think werewolf shit is kind of lame. A silver bullet, right? Cool. But... Dude, you got Corey fucking Hain flying around in a fucking... Is Corey Hain a werewolf? Up. No. Oh, my God. Why didn't we do werewolf, werewolf with Michael J. Fox? You're talking about Teen Wolf? Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf was sick. Dude, I grew up with Teen see, Wolf. I thought that was a You're saying movie. you haven't seen any werewolf movies. I know, You've but those are like... Ton of those are, what's that one with, with Nick Cage? And Jim Carrey, I'm sorry, Jim Carrey with a, he's a vampire? Oh yeah, Once Bitten. Yeah, that's a good one. I think there's a werewolf in that one. Yeah. It's a good movie. You know what's funny though? What's that movie, The Monster Squad? Monster or? Squad, yeah. Is that the one? Scott Nards. Is that the one? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm thinking of the one with Vincent Price. He's in it. Yeah, that's a, that's a vampire movie. The Ghouls, remember The Ghouls? That was a good one. That was fucked up. Hemlock Grove. Yeah, Hemlock that, Grove. That is not horror. What's not horror? Hemlock Grove is the one where Sarge. What's not horror? Ellie Belgazar. Titanic. Titanic's a fucking horror movie. I don't, I think. So there's a there's a definitely a uh, there's a lag between what they see us saying and what we see them saying. Oh so shit! That could have been something we talked about two minutes ago. Some Event Horizon shit. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you know what? Dog Soldiers for me was just like one of those films that I don't know. I think that if you go in with an open mind and you're looking for some like no-brainer fucking um entertainment i highly recommend it 
It's got some famous people in it. Um, there's a scene with a sword that they randomly had, which I thought was an Easter so, egg so, for Highlander. Right. So, okay. which Sean Connery is in Highlander, and the main guy from Highlander is French. What's his name? I don't. Not Van Damme. The other dude. Lance Harrickson? No, he's Pumpkinhead. No. Which Pumpkinhead, the demon, or Pumpkin, Pumpkinhead's one of my favorite. It's a great movies. movie. But didn't Pumpkinhead figure remind you of the figure of the werewolves almost like that whole like yeah over the top fucking weird fucking. He has the jointed legs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's a scene in Pumpkinhead. If you positive. Teen Wolf is not a war movie. I don't know. I mean, it, but it is a werewolf. Movie. It's a werewolf movie. Kind of like. God Christopher Lambert, dance, she's good, dude. I th- yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. What's Jamie, crazy? Jamie just watched. She watched uh, Dog Soldiers too. She watched. There's the part shows two. Gonna, no, no, sorry. As well, uh, she watched Dog Soldiers. T O O. Not T. Not the number. Uh, not like yeah, a. Yeah, not T W O. Okay. Jamie, what did you think of Dog Dog Soldiers? Who's diverse gaming? Holy Is that a dragon? Shit. I don't know, but Diverse Gaming just put up a fucking Bob Ross photo, so that's the shit. So is I that know. a Jack's Patio thing, the first one? Or the Jack's Patio bar? No. It was on a Thousand X. I loved it. It was great. I didn't go out there. Oh. I mean, this is like eons ago. Uh, I grew up in Dallas, not San Antonio. Were there werewolves, you think, in Dallas? Uh, you, know what, you know what's funny? Probably. So Texas has Chucacabra, right? Chucacabra is like a... Mexican version of the werewolf. Am I wrong? But that's more like near. Wait, are they? Yeah, but they actually change but, from human but to chica, ch- chica cabra. Chup, chupa cabra are like tiny. I thought you didn't speak Spanish. I don't. I speak French. So they're tiny, <laughs> and so they've been debunking it to where like they find like these little bodies, these corpses, goat suckers, right? Yeah. Which the werewolves in fucking the Highlands would eat the sheep, goats, sheep, same shit. Basset Hound, same shit. Yeah. Uh, so, what's funny though is they've debunked it where they find these bodies and it's dogs with mange or wolves or coyotes with mange. I think they just say, I think the government says that. I don't know. I mean, do I think that there's like extraterrestrial life? Absolutely. Like, like X Files shit, which, great show, terrible fucking movie. Dude, so the movie. They made two of them. So, being from Texas. Okay. Texas okay. or Tejas? Tejas. Tejas. So being from Tejas, in the... Diverse gaming can't hear anything. Oh, my God. Can I touch it? Can it shows that it? it's still working. Hmm. I don't know. Anyone else? Anyone else? Audio is working, so we're good. Okay. So... Being, Lada, can you hear this? Being from Tejas, I was real upset because I went to see X-Files movie. The first one. In the theater. Same. And it says, like, 40 miles east of Dallas. Okay, I grew up in Dallas. Okay. And they say 40 miles... Fort Worth? Yeah. That would be probably just a little bit (laughs) east of Fort Worth, or west of Fort Worth. And it says 40 miles west of Dallas, or something like that, 60 miles, whatever. And it's just pure desert. Because they filmed it in, like, Alaska. And And so I'm like... That's so fucked. Like that's. Did like, you ever see the X Files with a werewolf? Uh, like the original? Yeah, the TV Dude, show. I have the whole fucking series on VHS. You know what I liked the cut? Co- not the country ones. <laughs> the country when when Jillian and fucking Mulder. Uh, I see you got a new coast. I'm actually Carlos. I was bit by a werewolf. I'm a lot younger. Carlos got bit by a werewolf and is not here. Carlos is here. Where's Carlos? Carlos, are you You know here? who this is? It's Carlos. Oh. Wait, what? That's Where him. do you see that? Right there. It's in the red. He chose a terrible font. It says, I see you. Oh, you know who this is? This is Carlos. Because Carlos got bit by a werewolf. Carlos, is that you? Carlos. Are you okay? So, what I think, bottom line, Dog Soldiers is just... I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, I feel like it was... The story is good, right? It's, a, it's decent. It, it's it's very basic. I feel like it was like a starter film. And the dude goes on to do Hellboy, which was terrible, the new one. It, he did The Descent, the which I didn't see bad. The Descent. Hmm? The new one is bad. I like The Descent. It's good. 
I didn't see it. But that's one with like the the they're in Mexico, right? I don't know where they are. Somewhere in, somewhere south of the border. That's what I call it. Huh. You're shutting down because you, your 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 sidecar is there. It's watching you. It's like a cuck. He's a cuck right now. He's a total. Cuck. Jamie said, "Carlos, we heard you got bit and now have werewolf diarrhea." These are facts. These are facts. <laughs> he got the werewolf diarrhea. That's so. The the whole point. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> See, it happened in what? Uh, Howl. By the way, Carlos, um, you know it's who it is. It's Carlos. Terrible choice, terrible pick. Um, I thank God I watched that ten minute clip because I think if I would have spent eleven minutes watching that shit, I would have lost my fucking mind. It was awful. It was stupid. Um, cool though, the that dog soldier's bad guy for the leader of the special troops was Sir not Dallas. was not in the fucking movie because it was the dude from Event Horizon. See, he says he even agrees. Oh, that's the same Wait, thing. I just, I just interpreted it. Carlos, do you agree that... No, he's agreeing that his werewolf diary was bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just didn't like it. Uh, I, I think that... You know what's a really good movie? Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, that's a great movie. It's a great fucking movie. Why didn't we do that? It's too long, though. Look, it's like three you tapes. You and Carlos... Do you remember when they were three movies. tapes? Like, no. Schlender's this? was three tapes but anyway that's another day i have um, i have uh the stand is four tapes yeah but those are mini series yeah well that doesn't count mini series and that's what i didn't like about stephen king films that they, they, would, they would do mini series <laughs> i don't i don't <laughs> i don't i only watched 10 minutes of it and that's all i needed to see <laughs> That's all I you knew more than me about the movie. I knew more watching. about the fucking like, movie. I knew I knew more. And I've watched it like four times. I'm actually a horror movie sleeper cell. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, I don't know, man. I just Carlos, can you agree? Werewolf movies are a hard sell because they're just too over the top. They're too strong, and like vampires are too frail, right? There's always a technicality, and Frankenstein is a beast. He's like the Hulk boring because he's scared of fire and all he wants to do is find love but he's got all these like I mean Mary Shelley was writing the shit about a fucking you know these were like novels back in the day you know yeah um, Drac Dracul or whatever the fuck he was he was a fucking the Vlad the Impaler he was a legit fucking conqueror who wanted to live forever and drink the blood of your enemies kind of shit that's that's some fucking wild shit you know like if you look at the so fucking, horror is based in reality of the past everything is based off of our past like look at the fucking uh the aztecs they human sacrifices they ate Dude, they heart. fucked people up uh, let's see uh <laughs> Dude, you can't say shut the fuck up because you're not here. He's got werewolf. What, he's got werewolf diarrhea. He's got like, werewolf diarrhea right now. The moment you stop having werewolf diarrhea, Dude, I mean, these things are good. They're good. They're good. Carlos, I wish you were here to have some sponsored noon whatever this stuff. Oh is. shit, she said Sun she's ships. Jamie's right. The werewolf is taking over. Oh fuck. He's like the Hulk. He gets mad. Yeah. And he turns into a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> but why are the werewolf's eyes yellow? Were they? They or were was always her? yellow. They're always there was her and then the fucking movie Howl. Oh yeah, when he she heard the howling, her her eyes turned yellow. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it. Why Carlos, if you can chime in, why why turn, right? When they hear the howling. I don't get it. And also why in the ending of Howl, like when she he does some Titanic shit, he gives him the fucking name tag, he's like, <laughs> hey, Remember me? I don't, I don't think it shows her giving. I don't she think ha, it she shows opens her hand. Him giving. She opens her hand. Yeah. and There's a fucking name tag. I don't. I don't think it actually shows him giving it. But when she's walking through the East well, the verb, Station, remember at the the, end, the verb she part. Opens the, it. The, 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 when they was hitting her shoulder. Yeah. Because she gets checked. Yeah. It's the verb. It's weird. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's also weird that all these people are at the station at the end. Getting ready to board their train when there's still a missing train in the middle of nowhere. See, like, no I one's took going it. Out it, to was, like, it was because it was Harry Potter shit. They were legit. Like, that's how I took it. You know what I mean? Like, they're in the woods. Remember that part when they're in the woods in Dog Soldiers? And it's kind of like when Voldemort was fighting with him in the fucking woods. 
right? Because if you look at Harry Potter films, the first two are Christopher You're talking about whenever he thinks he kills him? Yes. Yeah. The first two are Christopher Columbus, PG, everyone's happy, home alone this shit. This shit gets dark. Quick. Dark, because Alfonso Cuaron, who did The Secret Garden, one of the best fucking underrated movies I've ever seen, great film. Watch it. It's like a modern day horror movie, but not. Uh, they get really dark because Gary Oldman's in it, super good, and then they kind of like teeter off into this boring shit because they get a different director. I mean, directors clearly set the tone for films like David Fincher, Psychological. Uh, he did um, that movie with Michael Douglas, The Game, yeah, which was an movie. underrated movie. Probably one of the most underrated David Fincher it's movies. A really good movie. Um, Fight Club. Everyone likes Fight Club. Very unrealistic, but it's a good. What movie. Fight Club or The Game? No, no, The Game. The Game is actually a remake. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a remake. Um, I mean, if you want to even get into technical terms, like Mad Max is a horror movie, even though Carlos has the VHS, but it's a it's apocalyptic fucking the they were eating humans, they were cannibals, you know, they were fucking like like end of days kind of shit. We're like, hey, I don't want to pay fucking three ninety nine for a fucking gas of Valero. <laughs> Fuck you. The game, yes, thank you, Lyric. She likes the lame. One of my faves. Which one? The game, Carlos. You know it's Carlos or Mad Max because the Road Warrior was part one. Am I wrong? The Road Warrior is just him trying to survive after with like, a dog, he's a cop, and, and he's he didn't to, kill the yeah. fucking dog. And the Road Warrior, which was filmed in Australia, when fucking Mel Gibson still sounded fucking Australian because he's Australian as fuck, but he lost his accent. What the fuck is that? That's crazy. He should have been like, yeah, you should get tits instead of like <laughs> sugar tits. You know, like I don't know. Um, the game, yeah, dude. The game is sick as fuck. Uh, the game. You know who's in the game? Or oh, no? You know it's crazy. Who's his wife in the game? That chick, the blonde chick, who's not... She's hot, but she's not hot. She's like a poor man's Michelle Geller. I don't know that fucking... Michelle Pfeiffer. That... that Mad Austin. Max is part one, yeah. Mad Max is when he breaks his leg. Uh, it's... it's. I thought Mad Max... I thought the Road Warrior, which is the poster where he has a helmet and the sawed-off shotgun. That's the first one. I thought it was yeah. Road Warrior, then Mad Max, then... You know what? I will say that... The, Mad Max or Road Warrior. Mad, Mad Max or Road Warrior. The last one... Dude, I love fucking... What's his name? Um, Bane? Bane's the shit. Two men enter, one man leaves. I don't I don't even get that. It's Gladiator that's, shit. That's, I, I'm going to go yeah. with Gladiator. Which fucking... Um, you, you, we're talking about Tina Turner now, right? Oh, Beyond Thunderdome. Beyond Thunderdome. Nah, you know what? That was one. too cheesy. I didn't that's like that That's the third one. one. It's the third one. I'm talking about the one with Bane. I don't know what you're talking Bane. about when you say Bane. Ah, yes. <laughs> you know, Bane. Uh, you're fucking... talking about the new one with yes. Charlize Theron. No, fuck that chick. I'm talking about fucking Bane, dude. What's Bane's name, Carlos? Oh, my God. What's Bane's name? Jamie, will you look up the order of the Mad no, Max No, the movies? dude who's in... Uh, the guy who's in... Um, fucking... That movie with the guy with the mustache and the glasses, Bronson. He's Bronson. He's Bane. He's Bronson. He's everything with a B. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God, he's in fucking Mad Max Fury. He's the same director. Yeah, Fury is the one with with Charlize Theron. The main guy, the protagonist. Yeah. Mad Max. I don't even count those. Like I saw the other Mad one. Mad Max is part one. Yeah. Tom Hardy. Tom Fuck Hardy. me, dude. Yes, Tom Hardy. Thank you. You know it's Carlos. Thank you, Lala. Wait, Tom Hardy plays. Yes. Bane? Yes. I've never seen that Batman. What? It's Christopher Nolan's the shit. No, I don't. Memento? Eh, is that I a, like Memento. Is that a Christopher Nolan film? I don't know. I think Memento is... I have it right there. It's a psychological thriller, though. Mad Max, Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, Mad Max 3, Beyond Thunderdome. Yeah, so Beyond Thunderdome and Mad Max So two, Mad Max 1 is the, the one where he gets his leg broken and he's still wearing the cop uniform. His best friend gets blown up. They run over his kids. Or his wife and his kid. At the Mad very, Max Two beginning, he remembers that, that hot dude with the spikes, and he's like wearing gear. It's very the mohawk kind of thing. Mad Max Three is the one with Tina Turner. Yep. We don't need Which Mad hero. Max Two, I think. Yeah. Out of all of them, the best one. Mad Max Two. Yes. And not only that, but it is yeah. a psychological horror film because it's post-apocalyptic. Horror. Because, like, let's be real. What, what's going to happen is there's not going to be dog soldiers. There's not going to be fucking vampires. It's going to be fucking straight up like the hills have eyes kind of shit. You know what I mean? People are just taking you for everything you get. I mean, like, okay, so like. They're just raping and pillaging. Oh, that's Viking shit. 
That's like the Moors kind of shit. You tell them WM Carlos. Woman Carlos? White male Carlos? White male Carlos. You tell them white male Carlos. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel that werewolves, like, if I had to do, like, you never, like, okay, so you have Phantom of the Opera, right? You have, which was a boring villain too, Monster, right? He's like disfigured. Yeah, he's just a he's fi- boring disfigured dude disfigured that lives in a who, fucking bell tower. Bell, no, that's Quasimodo. Isn't that the same thing? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, the... I mean, I guess, but he was more of an artist. I don't know. Uh, bottom line is dog soldiers. It's like Predator. Does, it's not like Jaws, Aliens, and, and Predator with a werewolf twist like the movie says. It's more like Predator, obviously, right off the bat. But then it's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit. And then it's like Highlander. Because there's a scene with a fucking sword, which they have it. Kind of like, you know, Carlos's fucking uh, coffee table that lifts up? Yeah. He pulls out a sword. And then they use a sword, which I would imagine is made out of steel. I thought steel kills the fucking werewolves. Okay, so here's what's weird about that. They allude to that sword over and over, over and over. Three times. Thrice. They, like, show the sword sitting there like like it's... Like it's I Something took it is going to happen with that sword. I took it as an homage since it was a Scottish film to Highlander. But I thought it was going to be more like, like, uh, like. It, it's showing the sword, so that's going to be something that's able the to Howling kill. and the American Werewolf are the best werewolf movies ever made. I beg to differ. I want to say American Werewolf in Paris is probably the best because Bush is on the soundtrack. What about American Werewolf in London? Look at this right here. Mm. American Werewolf in London. I saw the Paris in, in, in uh, the movies. This is like probably like 98. London. I didn't see that one. That's the one where like the face comes out, and I mean, I heard it's a good one, but you know what? I'll be real. Wait, you've never I've seen never American seen Werewolf in London? I've only seen Dog Soldiers and American Werewolf in Paris. And Teen Wolf. And Teen Wolf. Yeah, that's and it. Silver Bullet. And Silver Bullet. Yeah, but I. You think need to watch. I don't have time. American Werewolf in London and Ginger Snaps. The Ginger Snaps is that a real yeah. thing? Yeah, it's a more modern. One. Schlinger's List, and then probably <laughs> Ginger Snaps. It's like a werewolf movie, kind of. Um, what is that? Is that a werewolf? Sound like is Carlos here? That's probably. Is he on the? Why do? Okay, let me ask you this: Why do werewolves jump on the roof? What do you mean? Because they have hands. They got brute strength. Like, okay, so going back to dog soldiers, <laughs> um, there's a scene where the dude from fucking um, Event Horizon, he's fucking just on the shitter. With a fucking the can of fucking graffiti and just with a cigar and he's like he's trying to light it on fire. Yeah, he's like, yeah. and then the 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 fucking other bathroom, the two loose, as they say. Uh, the dude from Grey's Anatomy, the doctor, is like trying to like break through the other side, so he breaks the sink and the fucking he like gets a pipe and he's like trying to break. Dude, they're the wall. so strong. Like these guys are like eight nine feet tall. They're fucking gargantuan. Why strong. can't he just bust through the yeah, door? Yeah, the door is like something out of fucking like Alamo Heights. Like eighty <laughs> years old. Don't get me into that. I broke a door once. Anyway, uh, that's that's very but Why specific. is it so hard? It's super hard for this giant okay. eight foot wall. How about to break this? The they door? cut the motherfucker's arms off twice. Yeah. Where the fuck is a werewolf with a fucking limp or a, a, a nub? Yeah, it never shows it. Never them. shows it. Uh, this is your favorite movie. It's the only movie I know. <laughs> uh, besides Silver Bullet. Besides Silver Bullet, besides Teen Wolf, and besides Teen Wolf. Uh, American Werewolf in Paris. <laughs> buddy. See, I didn't even know about American Werewolf it was a, It was a You thing. could have picked one of those. It was a curly-haired dude who was like always a, like the teen heartthrob, <clears throat> but he was a bad guy. But Bush was on the soundtrack, and it was like... It was a real new metal. It was kind of like a wait. Dog it? soldiers? No, dog soldiers. Okay. I did. I don't think it even had a soundtrack. But like soundtracks for horror movies are always like. Do you remember that movie that D. Schneider did? Carlos, what's that movie that D. Schneider did? Uh, he's like an internet creeper. But the soundtrack was all new metal. It was like like corn and fucking System of a Down. Yeah, D. Schneider directed a film. Uh, what was her name? Jamie the. What is a D. Yeah, Schneider yeah, from yeah, Twisted yeah. Sister? He did a psychological... He was like a horror movie. I can't believe he never... You know how I knew about this film? So, I was a comic book dude back in the day in the 90s. And on the back, they, they always took out printed ads for this movie. 
And it was the soundtrack was lit, dude. It was on TNT Records, which had like gross bands like Seven Dust and everything that Carlos is into. You know, like gross, poor, shitty fucking music. That's what Carlos is about. But um, Strangeland, I think it was Strangeland. And there's a chick on the cover with her, like, her lips are sewn up. Can we confirm on that? It's like a blue. I have never. You've never heard I didn't of know D. Schneider, Schneider is a horror. You, know you know who's also a horror motherfucker? Is Danny DeVito. Really? Danny DeVito. Are you fucking kidding me? Danny DeVito has his From whole, Taxi? The guy from Taxi? The dude from fucking Matilda is a horror. Oh my god. Oh yeah, dude. I'm yeah, fresh you're, like we're four of these things. Uh, you're done here. The dude from Matilda is fucking. Um, that's for the fans. It's for it's, it's yeah, if they can hear it. Um, what flavor is this you just handed me? Oh, another bike chair. Well, here, do you want to try something random? No, 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 no you good with that? Right. What's that one? This one's it's grapefruit melons. It's have it's, I tried that one? This is a yeah. seltzer. Though th these are vodka. This is seltzer. You probably won't should Man, come down. No, all right, fuck it. All right. Um, I just, I'm just gonna ask Lucia if that I can movie sucks that ass. House. Which movie? Strangeland. Blink once with your uh, werewolf <laughs> diarrhea asshole. I haven't seen it, but that era of horror was the downside of horror. The 90s were bad. Like, they were doing the Spaceman fucking... Uh, Power Man 5000 shit. Power Man 5000 soundtrack for Jason X, which yeah. he's in space. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what? What was that movie? Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead. The one, no. The, the one, one where there's Hell a Razor, zombie baby. The one with the hot chick and like her dad's like a like a not a fire marshal maybe in the version I saw but they're like on a military base. It's like Hellraiser or the Land of the Dead or it was a Cinemax exclusive. Ah, fuck. And they would always show it. It was um, she was like a zombie. Wait, what am I thinking of, Carlos? Someone's a, like a main character. Yeah, she was like the main character. You know what's another horror movie that kind of reminds me of Mad Max? Is the one with John Charlie Sheen. following us. I'm just going to say thanks. Who's John? I don't know. Somebody started following us. Thanks, John. Because they think you're awesome. I'm Carlos, by the way. <laughs> um, the werewolf, uh, werewolf Diary kicked in. Uh, so it's a movie with Charlie Sheen. He's in a black car. He died. Remember? It's kind of like very... Uh, Mad Max. They're out in the middle of the fucking plane. Men at work? No, no. That's with Emilio. <laughs> uh, it's an 80s movie. Charlie Sheen's in it. Not The Chase, which is a great movie, but it's... He wears like a helmet. If anyone can chime in on that. Charlie Sheen with a helmet? Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah, he hits home runs. He's the wild thing. <laughs> yes, you're right. No, not wild thing. Um, it's a movie where he draws like a like a a garbage truck. Men at work. Oh, the wreath. Is it the, the wrath? wrath? No, the wreath. Is it the Christmas wreath? The, or wraith the wrath is about a, a a crazy dude in a car. Yes, that's Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. In that? Is it Charlie Sheen? Jamie or you I've know seen who the race like three times? Is that? I'm is pretty Charlie sure it's Sheen fucking Charlie that? Sheen. I guarantee you. That's weird. Yes. What Exclamation fuck? point. How am I completely Because you're blanking. a fucking poser, god damn it. You're lying about this whole like <laughs> I just I've only Sheen. seen it's a black I've only car. seen He's one horror around. movie. I literally have only seen one horror movie and I've deciphered every horror movie known to man. I <laughs> the Wraith is a black it. car driving around destroying people. Yes, it's that's somehow Charlie I, Sheen. Somehow I don't know it's Charlie okay, Sheen. Okay, so by the way, I I just opened this. This is the the recommended Soul Survivors, The Ninth Gate with Johnny Depp, Stir of Echoes. You know what's funny about Stir of Echoes? It was a terrible movie. No, it wasn't. Let me finish though. The fingernails. The fucking soundtrack. They did the Rolling Stones painted black. Yeah. It's all just like uh, that but Vietnam. It was just like TV they did that show. Nirvana one, that Nirvana song for that one movie with Batman. They, oh yeah, and it's all like, but it's like. What, which look at this though. Wishmaster, doesn't he look like fucking... That was a Clive Barker film, wasn't it? Yeah, Wishmaster? it was. But doesn't he look like Jeepers Creepers? I never saw Jeepers Creepers, but I thought it was kind of stupid. Uh, I don't really Legion like Legion of the Jeepers Dead? Creepers. The Calling? What the fuck? The Calling's like the Omen kind of shit. Anyway, Artisan, back in the day, Artisan was really good with doing Artisan like... Artisan Entertainment. Doing like mid-range C to B-minus quality horror films, in my opinion. Um, it wasn't until like... 
What was that Dark Asylum? Oh, those are awful films. You know what I'm talking about? No. Hmm. If anyone can look it up, Dark Asylum films were really bad. You know what was a really cool one? Um, the one with Chris Kattan. It's a hotel. Chris Kattan. It was terrible. Was it was it a, a horror movie? It was a horror B movie, Hotel Something. It was fucking awful. It was really, really bad, but it was really good, if that makes sense. I don't know. Horror is something that is, it's, it's, it's really hard to do. That's why I said hereditary, hands down, the last 15, 20 minutes, holy fuck, dude. I haven't been engulfed and terrified of a movie. Doug is starting to look like he drank a whole bottle of absinthe. <laughs> yeah. If that, was a, if that was the case, though, <laughs> you know what absinthe is? It's wormwood. Something so, in the way of the new Batman with Jamie, Robert. Yes, Jamie, has seen, right. Jamie has seen the behind the scene footage that we've never released uh, from Three Shots in a so- Show where. Me, is that when you and Carlos turn into werewolves together? Yeah. yeah. Where me, Carlos, and one of our friends did drink an entire bottle of absinthe. Did you use the actual cube with a light? Oh, then no, that was just doing shots. See, that's the thing. Because so was it true absinthe? Because absinthe until recently was only sold in France. There's a bunch of like knockoffs, but the true it, like if you ever go to Nolens, because it's wormwood. It's a hallucinogen. Oh, I know. Oh, I, I know you know, but right. I'm just saying like you got to do it, like it's like heroin. You have to get the sugar. Our, cube. Yeah, we didn't do the whole like that bullshit, but it was legit with wormwood in it. Uh, Werewolf Carlos and go. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> he did. I'm too old for this shit, Carlos. And yeah, there was. A, see, Carlos says that, that was, was bad. bad. It was rough. Really? Because it it's was wormwood. Rough. It's it weird. Was rough. Three of us drink an entire bottle of like episode. a fishbowl. It was rough. Did you guys kiss afterwards? Or I don't remember. Carlos. I know I called in sick to work the next day. Dude, that's crazy. I know that Emily thought I should go to the hospital. Really? That bad? Yeah. Well, you know what it is? It's because... You know boy... where Carlos lives? Sure. Okay. So, uh, Emily walked me around like a whole block. Uh, the circle? Like up to... No, we walked up to like New... The train? Uh, what's it? San Pedro... Okay, walked up a yeah. couple blocks, came back down King's Highway, walked past the house. I don't even remember it. You weren't knighted? What do you mean? Because King's Highway, you didn't, they didn't knight you? No. <laughs> Maybe. Crazy. I don't know. That's how I can I never guess, drink that shit again. That's how I'm feeling. See? Because he's a werewolf now. Werewolves don't drink. <laughs> werewolves werewolves don't fucking drink. They eat carcasses <laughs> and fucking shit everywhere. That's, that's what werewolves do. I don't know. I, I, I feel like a werewolf... If the bullets that they fucking unloaded, clips. I mean, I don't know if anyone knows anything about guns. Magazines. Magazines. I mean, so I've heard. But if anyone knew technically about guns. I know about guns. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. I, was a, I don't know a couple of guns. Okay, so the Hulk magazines, like they went through like multiple magazines. Oh, like thousands or, I mean, hundreds rounds. and hundreds of and rounds. And you know what was hilarious when they had that, that electronic knife? Yeah, the turkey. Yeah, the turkey knife. That it's was a, a little bit of like. It was yeah, uh, 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 you know? really. yeah, yeah. And then okay, so closing arguments on dog soldiers. So our dude from Event Horizon is now turning into a werewolf because he gets mauled because he didn't get mauled. He got his guts were scraped out and shit. But but he knew out. he was turning into a werewolf. He did, and his eyes turned green, and he was like, <sighs> and then he was like rolling around. It was very dramatic, and then he threw out the water to the stove. Or to the fire pit, and then he fucking hit the fucking. Uh, he the, blows up the house. He blows up the house. However, homeboy from the the good looking doctor from Grey's Anatomy is below. He's in a basement. He's in the basement. And how the fuck did he not blow his ass up? Because the fucking gas oven's right there. He's right above it. It didn't blow it up. And he comes out and he sees all the dead bodies that are unmanned. Right there are the, all the special forces teams dead carcasses and then highlander sword guy with his because he's a wolf and then he gets the fucking he puts a sword in his teeth remember and here it go like that yeah, you don't remember so that? Cre- yeah that was creepy. yeah it was a little creepy you know what's funny the only part in that whole entire movie that made me scared was when they're on the fucking in the car and then the fucking head hits the fucking thing that was the only jumper the scene. The human head. The human head. The head. I yeah. thought it was a very un-jumper kind of movie. 
Um, yeah, it didn't have a lot of jump. It didn't have really any jump scares. If I had to like base it on like movies that have really fucked me up in the mouth of madness, that part when that guy's the kid, but he's an old man on the bicycle. Yep. Psychologically, that fucked me up. Hereditary, that part when she's like banging her head on the ceiling like fucking crazy, that fucked me up. Um, I don't know, man. Like clowns don't scare me. Even though Attack of the Killer Clowns, even though it's a funny movie, it's, it's funny. a it's a psychologically kind of fucked up movie because they're drinking the blood out of the cotton candy yeah. and the fucking like it, it's a stupid great eighties. It's not a slasher flick flick because slasher flicks are kind of like it's about alien clowns. Alien clowns, exactly. Yeah. They took the form of a fucking alien. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that werewolves are hard. Or it's a hard sell. Um, John Carpenter's Vampire with uh, the dude, you know, not a good about? movie. No, well, are we talking about the same one? Yeah, vampire. the guy who didn't, who was supposed to get on the fucking airplane yeah. and didn't. Yeah, it's not that a good one movie. event. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You didn't think it was good because no. he's such a cre- shitty I, actor. I don't think Vampire is a good movie. Hmm. Good action movie. Yeah. Not a good. Not a good horror? horror movie. I mean, that's not a horror movie though. What, 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 what to you to creates a horror movie? What What is a horror movie to you? Man, I'm getting deep. Let's Carlos get real has deep. fucking Carlos should be here for that. <laughs> I mean, because I don't know. I don't know what is a horror, a horror movie. movie to me. In my non-horror poser, um, you know more about horror than me. Obviously. I don't know shit about horror movies. I've only seen Dog Soldier. I've literally, <laughs> only seen and Dog, Silver Bullet and Silver Bullet and Team Wolf. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that the whole point of a horror movie is to scare you because everyone likes to be scared. They don't, but they do. That's why we like roller coasters. That's why we like haunted houses. That's why we like to read about ghosts. That's why we like to fucking go to the fucking train tracks and fucking put powder on your hood and put it in neutral and let your car roll uphill. That's some San Anto shit, apparently. I did it once with my buddy and it did move, but they did. What's uh, that one place here? The Pony Lady? No, no, donkey lady. That's a, that's a, okay, so you do every, so, so everybody knows there's a place here in San Antonio called the donkey lady no, bridge. No, that's a, that's yeah, a, that's, that's a, what it's, you, it's an ethnic thing where they, they get people's like, okay, so Wait, for, what do you mean it's an ethnic thing? It's an, so for Germans, right? Not the Nazis, but Krampus. Krampus was like this demon, Santa Claus that would kill children. For Hispanics, it was La Llorona and fucking other shit. You know, La Llorona? La Llorona, the crier. It was this chick. Oh, La La Rona. The, the Corona chick. Yeah, she, Corona. Drowned, she drowned her okay. kids, and, and supposedly she's I've like, never seen that movie. Day, you're wrong. Okay, then then tell me. The Don, the Donnelly lady is a real Santa The See? Donnelly. The donkey who, lady. Who, who, no, the Donnelly. She wrote <laughs> the Donnelly. She, that's just a miss. Who is the Donnelly lady? Typo. I can say, look. What is the Donnelly lady about? <laughs> she corrected herself. The donkey lady. The Donnelly lady. I want to go bass fishing at the Donkey Lady Bridge. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about the Donkey Lady. Then I, I someone can someone chime in. Is that a thing? Are we still talking about dog soldiers? Dog soldiers. So the <laughs> thing is, they're actually in the forest where most witches and donkey ladies and werewolves <laughs> and high noon things take place. I mean, yeah. the woods is a great fucking thing because. In the woods, you're like, well, what am I fucking... You never see a horror movie, hey, uh, I, unless it's Predator 2, which is more of an action film with Danny Glover. He's fighting the fucking Predator. In the city. Murtaugh is fucking fighting the Predator in the city. Other than that... He takes out a whole SWAT team at the very beginning of that movie. That They're up sick. on the roof. It was sick. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't think... I, I think the greatest era of horror movies was the 80s. Oh, my God. My sister's giving us coordinates. Dude. Apple White Road, San Antonio. San Antonio. I want to go. I want to go. Great address. Fishing. Go after and continue the live. Hmm. Dude, you want to go to Donkey Lee Bridge down. after this? I'm <laughs> no, down. I gotta go to work hey, in the morning. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Just fall asleep in fucking the basement. But if you want to. I can't go to Donkey Lady Bridge I, I absolutely live one day. Will not. I will be terrified. So <laughs> I, I don't do two things. I heard you can hear her. I don't do turbulence, and like I don't an do airplane. Donkey Lady in airplanes. I, I just don't like turbulence. Tur- like you know what terrifies me in real life? Like shit. Not Freddy Cougar because Freddy Cougar was a pedophile who fucking burned alive and he had a claw. How weird is that? Yeah, why did he have a claw? claw he was just a pedophile. He was just fucking little kids. Remember, it was a TV a show. Claw. It was a TV show. It was a TV show. 
And Jason, like, I mean, didn't they drown him, strangle him, burn him, shoot him? He didn't even exist in the first movie. It was a kid. It was the mom, yeah. right? Oh, wait, yeah, so Halloween's the mom, or is it no? Voorhees the mom. Vor- Crystal yeah. Lake. Crystal it's the Poison Lake. the Well song, oddly enough. Burned by a band, Poison the Well. Yeah. All you fucking metalcore kids out there. Las Vegas metalcore? No, no, they're from Florida. Florida, yeah. yeah Tampa. Florida, America. Metalcore. Metalcore, I hate God metalcore. Damn, why am I still drinking? I don't know. I don't know. Because of dog soldier shit. I'm chilling, I'm good. You know why I'm still drinking? Why is that? The sponsors demand it. Sponsors demand <laughs> I don't do turbulence and I don't do the donkey lady. Guy with the bald guy with the goatee. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just um, I'm sh- I'm sad that Carlos got werewolf AIDS and had that werewolf diarrhea. I would have loved to. Blood. I would have loved to have had Carlos here. It, you know what's better about Carlos not being here? See, like the screen. How are there's two of us on here? Mm-hmm. If there are three of us on here, we'd be all like this. You'd be a, like way out know. here. I think Carlos would be closer to me. Carlos would be in here. I think Carlos would be closer right? to me. This is a two person screen. Is it? Yeah. This whole setup wide, is really cool. I need a wider angle lens. No, I, I I really like how Carlos's mom's basement just totally fucking captures like dude, the elements. Susie, dude, he told me her name is Susie Lucia. Like Susie and the Banshees, kind of Susie. S i u s e s e. I I just feel he keeps telling me to call her Susie Lucia, and I feel Susie like Lucia. So dirty, yeah, Lu- dirty, yeah, dirty. Oh, okay. Exactly. I feel like if I say that to her, she's gonna slap me. Probably. With, yeah. Like a tortilla? Yeah, with a, like, tortilla. with a tortilla. You know what's funny is I actually ask her, I'm like, hey, I've got this tortilla pressed, but it's not working right. And I, she told me it was for, I was using the wrong kind of tortillas. I, I can't remember right now. What kind of tortillas do you use? Uh, well, I make... Compost tortillas? No, no, no. I mean, one of the press, I think, is for flour. And I was I making I've, I've never uh, made a corn. tortilla. I usually buy them. Well, so I went to Thanksgiving at Carlos's mom's house upstairs mm. and uh they had homemade tortillas and they were really great mm. and so then emily what brought do, me what do werewolves eat for thanksgiving i don't know mm. but i i definitely uh tried to make tortillas and they didn't come out right and then uh lucia told me oh though that press is made for this kind of tortillas i can't remember right now werewolf tortillas Werewolf dog tortillas. soldiers. They're made for the dog <laughs> soldier tortillas. White people eat a lot of flour tortillas. Okay. I like, I mean, I'm not white. I like white tortillas. They're good, right? They're good, but they're terrible for you. Like lard and cholesterol and fucking... Yeah. But the corn... I don't know. I mean, I mean, like... corn's pretty much the same. Okay, except You know for, what? Holy fuck. Children of the corn. Good. Malachi? That's some good-ass fucking horror shit. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that the recipe for a horror movie is a psychological thriller, and it fucks you up. Look, Jamie said you should be on the show again, Berto. Only if Carlos has werewolf diarrhea. Yeah. I'm, mis- I'm, mis- I'm misunderstanding. We're, I mean, you usually, you took tonight off, right? You I did. Work. It's okay. I, I took tonight off from work. And I took you tonight abandoned off. your daughter. I abandoned my daughter. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> to come <laughs> here to have my sister so, uh, <laughs> monitor this whole. So, yeah. So... We could have you on again. This with is the Carlos first and last time. It just can't on, be can't, a Wednesday, right? I, I can't be ever. Honestly, I'm betrothed to other shit. Um, I honestly was a little nervous about this. I watched this sh- fucking movie. I went to bed at five a.m. watching Dog Soldiers. Um, <laughs> it's honestly like the only werewolf movie that I know, but it's actually really good. And it's fucked up because I like legit. I did this for Carlos. And Carlos had to get bit by a werewolf. He's which not is even fun. here. He's not even here. I don't, you know what? That's typical Carlos. Typical werewolf Carlos. He's out <laughs> in the woods. Shitting human blood. Shitting human blood looking for soldiers to kill. <laughs> as, 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 you know, Carlos would do. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it's... I want to say I want to thank uh, High Noon for sponsoring <laughs> this. I want to thank. Uh, um, wait, you know. so wait, did we ever find out? That, is Sun Sips High Noon owned Sun's, by Dave Portnoy? Sun Sips is the kiss from the sun. I'm gonna try to read to the High from. Noon. It's Modesto, sponsored Modesto, California. Yeah, yeah my sister, my sister a did the fucking no, shithole. My, I've never been to Modesto. I've been to L.A. It's literally a shithole. Oh. 
Holy fuck. I think Jamie's family's from California. You lived in California. I did live in California. Do you think there's werewolves in California? Uh, there's... Like, we're, like, okay, so the homeless there... I know, Laura, thank you. You told us before. Thank you. She's on it. She's uh, Jamie Jr. My, my, uh, I, I knew somebody that worked at Gallo. There used to be an artist named Gallo. So, the homeless there... Is it Gallo or is it Gallo? Gallo. Like a, like a cock. Okay, cool. Dave Portnoy is sponsored by them. Okay, he's sponsored by them. They're good, right? Dave, hook us up with your partnership. I mean, they're good. They're good. You guys should get a sponsor, though. Dude, nobody wants to sponsor us. We got, I mean, 61 followers. That's you gained to, because I was 60 and I deleted mine, because I could not let you guys have, I swear to Christ, that's funny if he <laughs> existed. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> I created an account. I deleted it because I didn't want you guys because you guys are all hyped. You're like, oh, we reached 60. I was like, delete. So <laughs> in this show, you gained two followers of three. That's pretty good. Who latest follow is John something 6646. Six, 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 John. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. John Lyons. Ni- six, 19 six, four, minutes ago. Six. Yeah. John Lyons. My I do sister, want to thank you, John. Diverse Gamings. I was one. Yeah, Lada, we give you props. Uh, so Lada, yeah. you got to watch every week from now on. You yeah, no. If your brother's not on here. No, I'm only I'm only filling in for werewolf diarrhea. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Closing so, arguments, or are we? Are you still going? Or are you done? Dude, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm chilling. Shit. Are you? I'm chilling. I'm like. I'm gonna head over to the bar next door. I'm down. No, yeah. actually, I gotta wrap it up. I got. I gotta. I got. I gotta go home at some point. Yeah, you got a child at home. I do. I do. I can't abandon it because someone got bit by a werewolf. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. But, uh, Look at these on. cool things we can do, though. Hang on. Since Jamie's not here, I'm just gonna fuck around. Wait, where are these things? I don't even know where the things are. What I'm are you trying to. About? We have these cool like things we can do, but I don't know how to do it. So never mind. I'm sad that Juan didn't chime in today. Juan's always Juan. Juan. I wonder if Juan's here. Juan, are you here? He probably saw that Carlos wasn't here and just uh, left. No, he saw that I was here. He's like, fuck that Birdo guy. He's like, he's not wearing a hoodie. Fuck that guy. I'm out. Dude, Juan wears hoodies a lot. It's the... Uh, what are we doing? I don't know what I'm doing. So, I don't know. If you get a chance, watch Dog Soldiers. Don't watch Howl. I'll send, uh, you should post a link for the 10-minute film. You know what you should do? You I should sure. definitely watch the Howling. It's one of the. It's the first great like. Is that the board. one with the cover? It's got like a board, floorboard, and the monsters coming out of the fucking floorboard. Not that I remember. Dude, look at Carlos said. Shout out to Lyric for getting that job with Apple TV. So Lyric got a job with Apple TV. Really? That's right. He's like a legit film person now. That's sick. She got that earlier, but you missed it, Carlos. Um, I think we can talk shit about some show that she's working on. At Which show? At some point. I don't know. Or talk great about it. You know what? Honestly, I... I think that's sick. Because without getting too personal and emotional and start breaking down and crying, I wanted to be a film director. And Lyric took that from me. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> Straight up. Like, Lyric took that for me. Because that was, she went to film school and you didn't? She went didn't. to film school and I didn't. That's fucked up. I actually said... So Why don't was, you just go to film school now? You know what? It's too much work. I got to... <laughs> with being an understudy for World of Diarrhea and... Uh, no, but seriously, though, she's she's super talented. I wish I would have gotten into it. I I mean, dude, film is sick. Like, if you... I, at one point, for real, ask our mom. Yeah, I was going to be a film director. I still dream. She does. She does. She stole. She Look, stole. Lyric says, I still dreams. Wait a minute. What's that movie with Neil she Gaiman? The dream. movie that Neil Gaiman wrote, who did Vertigo Sandman Wait, with a chick. Ned you Betty's. wrote a movie, not a he, book that became a movie? He was a screenplay write person. He also wrote comics and books. It's the one with Ned Betty come to film school with me. I have to fill in for Werewolf Diarrhea. That can't be. 
<laughs> is that Carlos's yeah. new name? Werewolf diarrhea. Werewolf diarrhea. That's it. Okay, he got good, bit good. by a werewolf and fuck. <laughs> At least he was nice enough to let me know before I came over <laughs> that he wasn't going to be here. At least he was nice enough to answer my calls when I called him three times. Um, a screenwriter. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what's funny is I kind of want to be a ghostwriter because nobody would know who I am, but then I could take their ideas and nobody would know that they were not their ideas. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Stream elements? That's that's our pop You're selling shit? Sure. Fuck yeah, we're selling Shirts, shit. mugs, and more. What are you guys selling? Shirts, mugs, and more. What do you got? Look at this mug right here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah, we got a shirt dude, that has you know that on it. Holy no, that's shit. A water this a, look, at this, look at the detail on this water burger. This scary looking horror water burger where they fucking get your <laughs> order wrong and you wait 40 minutes. <laughs> And then it's like fucking two 18 year old oh, cholos who don't give a shit about I'm gonna have to sleep here in Carlos's mom's basement because I'm fun. like too drunk to drive. You shouldn't do it. As somebody who <laughs> learned the hard way in 2016, this is actually a podcast and an infomercial where <laughs> drinking and driving is wrong. Um, it definitely is wrong. I learned the hard way, but that's the scariest thing that I've ever done. <sighs> that's my horror movie. I'm sleeping in that Be yellow chair over room. there. You should. You should. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, Carlos's I mean, mom's gonna wake up in the morning and be like, "If you're gonna stay here for Carlos at Carlos's mom, we should have at least one more before oh, we, before, we, before we take one off. more what? One more of this triple set, like a full glass of it. I mean, I, you're you're an adult. You're like 78, so <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what to do and what not to do. I mean, I'll have a little bit if you want some. I I mean, I don't know what that means. Is that werewolf talk or like? Will you will you just top me off with some of that? Some uh, ice. Oh, I have, I have, uh, hold on, I have some here, triple second here. Yeah, you gotta drink that. Mm. Okay, so, um, I, I'll just, just, here, you do you, baby girl. Right. I'll let you, the, yeah. you pour you. Thank you. <laughs> Is that a lot? <laughs> no, it's nothing, it's okay. nothing. All right, so... I mean, horror is, who doesn't like to be scared? It releases some kind of serotonin or some shit. I remember the cup of tequila mixed with cucumber vodka. Yes, that was awful. That was in New York. So Lyric met us out in New York with Jackie. Because you went to go see uh, Amy Ellen Amy Snippers, Snippers. But then she got scared with werewolf diarrhea and couldn't perform. So they got surfboard, which is like vampire. And it was sick. It was cool. Calm down. Okay. I'm a race car in a red. I'm actually, you know who I am? Remember the movie The Chase? No. You don't remember another fucking Charlie Sheen movie with a car? The Chase. The, the protagonist chick was a chick from Under Siege. The hot one, she came out of the cake, topless. I don't remember her. So she's Which in that. Is another Sean Connery movie. Sean Connery is not Wait, in that. No. Tommy Lee Jones Wait, is Under in that. Siege? Under Siege. Oh, sorry. I was or thinking of... Tom, Tom, here we go. Under Siege. Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking of the Hunter of October, which was written by Quentin no, Tarantino. No, that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of uh, Alcatraz. You're thinking of The Rock. <laughs> the Rock. Yeah. The Rock is a great movie. You know what you should do? You should do an action movie. There's so many better action movies than horror. Like, <laughs> horror is cool. Dude, I went to, the, I went to Alcatraz on a work-related thing. And I got to go up to the very top of the Metallica play there, right? Tower. Really? Yeah, we hmm. were trying to do a show there. What show? J any show. We we're trying to do. And a they show just there. wouldn't do it. Uh, is this a privatized? Really, Brad. Bad. Brad, like Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was in a fucking horror movie, <laughs> Zombie Land, <laughs> Zombie Z, Zombie X, whatever it's called. I didn't. Okay, so Brad no. Pitt. <laughs> Brad Pitt was in a zombie man. movie. World War Z. World War Z. Like, why is it called? Okay, so they made a sequel to it. I love Brad and the Pitt. Jews knew. The what? They blocked off their city. Who knew? The Jews. Oh my God! What do you mean? What do the you Jews. <laughs> what do you? Israel about? knew that the zombies were coming, so they built a wall. Because the second coming of Christ. Is that what it's? Called? It's a biblical dude. Thing. I think we need to shut this stream off. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it, it's Jamie. You're, you're, you're gonna get canceled. That was the whole point. I'm super oh. slow. No, but like, okay, so I think horror in general is we, everyone likes Why to be did you scared. Bring this stuff. This is straight liquor. It's this triple sack. Poses. It's just it's just lime juice. It's just <laughs> legit lime juice. This I, is the stuff Carlos likes. Actually, he always talks about it. He likes lemon. 
Yeah. I know, but that was before he was a werewolf. <laughs> One more shot. Oh no. oh no! No 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 no! This is like two shots, and you're like, "I'm full of that." I mean, you're you're chilling. I'm. I mean, it's. I don't know. I thought you were Wait. trying to plug your merchandise, your Sinister Cinema. Uh, I, cup. I mean, the Sinister Cinema Waterburger Cup. It's pretty good. You know what you guys should do is actually make a Sinister, sinister Cinema. Dude, this is like water. straight liquor. No, it's not. It's, it's lime juice. Lip triple sick lime juice. Uh, I'm scared. Drink more limeade, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, trust me, I put water Deep in it. Deep Eddie got in a fight with, uh, what's the other? Tito's? Texas Tito's. So, okay, so, so Tito's. Deep Eddie's and Tito's were partners. There's Glacier and Republic. And so one of the guys, Tito's a billionaire. Tito's is not even a Mexican dude. He's a white billionaire dude. Yeah, he is makes it? vodka. Why would he need to be Mexican? He makes vodka. Well, right, but his name is Tito, kind of like Beto and all that stuff. Uh, something um, just happened here. What happened? What did we lose? I don't know. I think I we're heard a weird noise. Oh, that was my shoe grinding against. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a werewolf. There's a werewolf on the sta- on the on the top. Um, I don't know. I I, I think that. So Don't. the guy that that owns. Okay, Betty's imagine now, this. Imagine this. Tito's. Imagine this. Howl and dog soldiers. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Deep Eddie is is. Or, okay, I'm sorry. Tito's is overproduced. Uh, it's now considered a call or premium to pay. It's won so many awards. Badass. Back in the day, it was. Uh, He's the first distiller in Texas. Yes. And back in the day, when I would go to school. They would slap the, the, the label crooked. It was a cheap vodka. But the first vodka made in Texas. You know, that's interesting because there was certain vodkas like Y Vodka was made by these guys. I don't know if anyone remembers Y Vodka. Where, when there are no more tips in hell, the dead will walk on earth. You don't need to read anything. It's Dream on. That's, that's what we have popped up. Is that how you sell mugs? No, if you click on that, you can give us money. Oh. See, watch. See, oh, that's creepy as fuck. Like, you can give us, like, a dollar? Money. Yeah. Hmm. I think you should sell these Whataburger mugs. You can probably do better with that. But anyway, I think that horror movies, more specifically, are like Tito's vodka. Are like Tito's vodka, because there's two types. <laughs> You have, like, overproduced bullshit, which no one gives a fuck about, you know? That's the Tito's. And then you have, like, Dog Soldiers. It's like the Deep Eddie where you're like, fuck, that's really good, you know? And then it's like, it opens up your mind to fucking, like, holy shit, what if I was on a training exercise in fucking Scotland, right? With Sean and Connery. Not with Sean Connery, but with fucking the Highlander sword. Because Sean Connery is fucking at that bar. Yeah, that sword appears multiple times. Why? The ending it? scene, uh, he's got the sword through his fucking body. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to put in your teeth. And he puts the fucking sword, like, legit. He goes, well, he's, like, trying to kill him with the sword yeah. that's sticking through his body by, like, Kind of like that, in that classic, head. like, when you're fighting the, your opponent and he's got the, the knife. Like, what's that movie? Uh, Tom Cruise. And he's got the knife to his eye. Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible Part 4. Two. Three, two, two through four. It okay. happens in every single mission of possible. Okay, the mission, the pop, the mission <laughs> keeps on getting more possible and possible. Uh, I don't know, man. That motherfucker's like five three or some shit. He's five four. No, you don't years? know because he he's the, literally he's because like Danzig. He's what, got the he's got the fucking Danzig shoes. What's his religion? No, it says he's five two. He says Scientologist. Scientologist. Those motherfuckers have so much control, you cannot find out how tall he is. Skynet. They have scrubbed it from the internet. Lada has already found it. She's hacked into the mainframe fight too. Uh, Lada, is that real? Diverse gaming. Thank you. Yeah, they're good. I got these in LA. These are 3D uh, horror glasses. They work. They're good. Good. They're good. Okay, I'd say I should. Scientology, yeah. Why does your brother put his wife in all his movies? Why does my brother put his wife in yeah. all his movies? Like, she's in she's in every fucking zombie movie my ever. My brother? Rob, who's my brother? Rob Zombie. Oh, so that's his wife. Right. Kind of like how Tim Burton used to do... How do I know all this shit? Like, am I... Tim Burton straight up put his wife in everything, but she's a good actress. She's terrible. What? 
What? Well, you're not. I'm not talking about Helen Bonham. Yeah. I'm talking about oh, his yeah. ex bitch, the fucking oh. chick from uh, Mars Attacks. She's the. Rah! She's also the chick in the gets decapitated. Uh, so Tim Burton was infidel. In, in, infidel. No, infidelity. Uh, he was banging the chick from Sleepy Hollow because Helen Bottom Connor's in it because she's the witch. Mm-hmm. But he was also doing the blonde bitch. And then he did, I don't know, dude. I mean, but, I don't know. But why does Rob put all his, his wife in He's doing the monsters. Because oh. it's Shannon Moon. We were going to try to talk about the monsters. Want to become famous by viewers, followers, and primes on. Who's first time chat? Dude, El Sabio no, that's probably some cocksucker that's like a, a fucking. That really, some... that really his brother who's diverse gaming. It's a horrible trailer. I haven't seen it, Lauda. Yeah, this is Rob Zombie's brother. No, Spider. Spider from Power Man 5000. I don't <laughs> want to be Power Man 5000. It's more of a comfy. What is a comfy? I don't know. Comfy? It's your sister. I don't know. What is a comfy? Comedy? You Com- good? That's probably a comfy. Huh. Uh, the mon- the but- monsters were the Beverly Hillbillies, but horror, and I use that term loosely, Happy Jamie F. Band El Sabio, 420. Thank you. Doing God's work. Jamie's Jamie's doing God's work. Um, I really feel... So, Rob Zombie... Is your brother. Is not a good director. Halloween? Like, that's you and your brother combined. Way right there. too violent. Ultra violent. The Hills Have Eyes? Or no... Um, the th- House of a Thousand Corpses I saw in the th- theater. Boring. No. It, I, okay, so here's the... So, misco- but why does he put his wife in every Because that's his wife. Role. Happy wife, happy life. I'm not married. She's not a good actress. She's not. But I feel that um, ultra-violence in a, in a horror movie... Like the Lana Del Rey song? I, you know, I'm not familiar with Lana Del Rey. Is she like Slipknot? Kind of. All right. Because I don't even... I, I used to like Slipknot in 2001 when this movie, Dog Soldiers, <laughs> came out. I did. I did. I did. What bro didn't? What bro didn't say, hey, I'm going to do fucking a bench press of like 200 pounds while listening to Slipknot and watching Dog Soldiers. Uh, but then I became a dad and I let everything go. And I started drinking. Um, I really think that horror mm-hmm. is an art... Kind of like yeah. an action movie. Action movie, you want the gratuitous fucking John Woo violence with the birds flapping and the, you know, and a tanning bed. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not actually, I, I'm not tanning. I don't, I'm not in a tanning bed. This is just me. You're straight at Colombian. You don't need a I'm half and half. Like, like fucking Wait, shape. half and half what? I'm half Mexican and half Colombian. Uh, yeah. It's all the same to my mom. My dad was Colombian. My mom's Mexican. And then my daughter is a quarter Jap. A quarter. Do you know how to make Coke? Do I know how to make Coke? You know, it's funny. My dad told me when he was a kid, <laughs> the Coke is all in the coca leaves. And it, it grows like non, not, not, uh, rampant. Kind of like in Children of the Corn, the corn is rampant. I mean, everything in life circles around fucking horror movies. Straight up. Like, think about it. Like, what's that, that, that Japanese movie... That was the ripoff of a uh, grudge. The grudge is terrible. Ringu. I fucking hate the grudge. Sarah Michelle Geller and you watch a no, fucking no, 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 the Japanese version. The ragu, ragu sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't like. I didn't like that fucking I, I, the, the the idea of a, that's a small ass mouse. Holy shit! <laughs> that is like a fucking like a. It has this thing on it. It's got a mouthpiece. Oh, no, it shit. has this thing so it can get smaller. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that Japanese horror movies to me are very boring. Uh, I think that they're really great when they do like the action shit with like the baby powder and it flies off. But <laughs> then you like when somebody gets punched and baby powder. Yeah, it's like. Flies off. Yeah. And it's, yeah. And I, I just don't like uh, horror movies. Like, Battle Royale is not a horror movie, it's just a like, gratuitous violence movie. Of uh, what's that movie? Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Yeah, it's the same thing. Battle Royale. I didn't. I didn't dig it. I didn't like it. Um, I think that 
Dog soldiers is a misspell, by the way. There's an I. Oh, it is an I. Is there an I? I don't know. I don't care. Dyer's dog soldiers. <laughs> Have we talked about dog soldiers in the last 20 minutes? Yes. I like legit. <laughs> it, it's 2001 Slipknot, 2001 dog soldiers. But what's funny about dog soldiers um, <laughs> Is that the film itself, it's not a B movie because it's from the producer of Hellraiser. Jamie, can you look up to see how much it cost to make Dog Soldiers? I want to say 1.2. 1.2 to 800,000. Nothing over 1.5. Straight <laughs> so up. 800,000. I guarantee you it grossed at least 3.8. That was a good movie. For what it was, definitely. I think we gotta stop this. You wanna stop this? Yeah, closing I, arguments? I I don't have any closing arguments. Dog Soldiers, I love the story, but I think oh. they could have filmed it better. And there's some weird like why two point three million pounds. What does that mean? <sighs> Who knows at that time? <laughs> like two point three million pounds, so the, the pound just re- the the pound before they did X Heart, Eckhart, Eckhart, who's Eckhart? I don't know what you're talking about. Right There's now. something called Eckhart. <laughs> anyway, the movie did more than the fucking one point. The I'm totally sleeping in Lucia's basement. Oh, right? I know you should. The, the Lucia's <laughs> counter thing. I'm fine. I'm gonna fucking. Um, are we gonna sign off? Yeah, and I'm gonna go. I, I I think like we're pretty much done. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, if anyone's wondering, Carlos got bit by a werewolf. Um, he's not fucking here. He's gone. Carlos, are you still here in the chat? You want anything to say to sound sign off? Because I'm about to stop this bitch. Because for some reason, we got sponsored by Deep Eddie's. Dog thought, Soldiers, watch it. It's a good movie. I it's a good it's like a uh, margarita mix, but it's, it's just straight vodka it's triple with sec. a flavor. It's triple sec. No, you're lying. No, it's triple sec. <sighs> anyway, Dog Soldiers, great movie. Uh, Howl. If you watch the 10 minute <laughs> clip, it's worth your time. Uh, lyrics out. Um, See ya. Oh, yeah. Carlos, you got anything uh, final to say, Carlos? He's, he's probably watching on his TV, so he's got to like go to like. I figured, I figured he's wherever. got that world diarrhea, so he'd be in the yeah, fucking. He's probably bathroom. shitting human blood. Shitting human blood. Yeah. Well. Hopefully you'll come back on. Hey, well, I will never come back on. I laughed, I cried. Even so, though Carlos didn't, like, what about, you won't come on when Carlos is here? Nah, fuck that guy. That's fucked up. That he's a vampire up. now. You know, he's he, he, a werewolf. He's, he's a, a werewolf, werewolf vampire. Now. He's both. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I had a shitty time. Um, Carlos, if you're any part human left, um, fuck you. Lyric, you rule. Your movies are here. And uh, thanks to High Noon and Deep Eddie for sponsoring tonight's show. It was great. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, thank you. Thank you to Jamie The and Laura for the back to back fucking yeah. legit. Like, yeah. dude, like straight up. It was good. Yeah. Until next time, tune in, talk shit. Bye. <laughs>